Everyone can see us and hear us now. Well, hopefully they can hear us. Hopefully they can see us. Everyone, check your mic. Say hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Oh, hey. <laughs> yeah, chat. Let us know if anybody's muted, anybody's frozen. We'll try to get that fixed right away. You know, sometimes little glitches happen uh, when we stream on the interweb here. Uh, it looks like we're all good. Okay, cool. Rufio says he can hear us. Hey, April Stiletto in the chat. Awesome. I'm glad uh, everyone's got here nice and early. Let's get into it. This is our team Veritas uh, Cyberpunk Red team. We do this on the second and last Wednesday of every month now. Pretty excited about that. Uh, but hey, before I get into the team, a little recap the session and, you know, get into gameplay, let's just back it up a moment. Let's take a deep breath. Let's relax. Let's do like we always do. Let's go around the table. Everyone introduce yourself. Let people know where they can find you online and introduce your character as well. Uh, Naomi, why don't you start it off? Okay. Uh, hi, my name's Naomi. I am also known as Mad Last McGee. I play Cynthia, the exec. Up. The leader of... Well, I wouldn't say leader. She's just like the consul. I don't know. No, I don't know. <laughs> leader sounded... That's spoken like a true exec would, you know? <laughs> um, but... Sounds like the ones I deal with. <laughs> but anyways, hi. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Jansik. Hi, I'm Jansik. You can find me on most social media as Jansik underscore one. And I play Wolf the Solo, veteran of the Fourth Corporate War, and somewhat PTSD, but some local uh, therapy has helped me out recently, so now I'm having a great time in L.A. <laughs> great time in L.A. And hey, my beautiful wife, Valerie. Hello, you can find me at CyberVal, Fiverr underscore Valerie, and you can see me live at the, um, oh God, my whole brain, brain from Frank. Gen Con. <laughs> You'll be at Gen, Gen Con. Con. <laughs> it's new for me, so I'm excited. <laughs> um, you can come see Rob and I live at the uh, sound, the booth, which we'll have it later down marks there, everybody can see it. I think somebody put it down there already. Uh, yeah, right. it'll be at yeah, we'll be yeah. at the Sirenscape booth, uh, 1740. Uh, I believe it's Yay. I think it's right across from the Artel Sorian booth. So, uh, great location uh, if you're into cyberpunk, any of uh, our streams here. Everybody. Oh, yeah, and then uh, Val's got uh, one of the new shirts there, one of our Chumba's shirts uh, <laughs> in the nice parody Love Friends it. logo. Uh, yeah, and you can check it out. I've got the Cybernation Uncensored. I got uh, one of these. But, uh, yeah, you can get those. Check out the Bodega link on the CybernationUncensored.com website. But, yeah, we'll be at Gen Con, so come and say hi to Val. I'm so excited. Oh, yeah. Jamie. Oh, yeah, and uh, uh, introduce your character, though. Uh, oh, I might have yeah. cut you oh. off. I got excited about Gen Con. Uh, uh me too i forgot <laughs> phoenix is just all excited because her little happy ass will be there too <laughs> in inward but i'm phoenix the fixer styling like always i'll probably be stripping because i'm already getting hot <laughs> and uh you can find me here on cyber nation every what first second wednesday and then the last wednesday every month yep. yay got it right <laughs> <laughs> with these fine people oh yeah well put jamie <laughs> Hello, I'm Jamie. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Purple Fire Drake, um, and well, the stream. Um, other than that, work takes up way too much of my time. Um, <laughs> I play um, Kira, the hippie nomad who is upset right now that somebody is messing with her bus. That's right. Somebody's got to uh -huh. die. <laughs> oh, I forgot all about that. Oh no. Nice and shout out to uh, shout out to Rufio uh, Roofbum there in the chat saying he he also has the Chumba shirt and the Cybernation Uncensored shirt. And yes, yeah, all the pictures online when you posted them, I shared them around. All excited. Uh, thanks for showing support and uh, grabbing some of the shirt designs there. Uh, hey, Will. Hello, uh, I'm Will. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Billy Huddles. Um, you can even message me in the Cyber Nation uh, Uncensored Discord uh, as Brooke. Um, uh, working on putting a little extra something together uh, with, on Twitch, so uh, stay tuned on that. And I'm playing uh, Looper, the uh, eccentric, erratic, gonzo 
Dirty journalist. Nice. Dirty is an understatement. understatement <laughs> yeah. not, as, not as dirty as not as dirty as Gnostics, though. My, yeah, yeah, his, more his, like, filthy hoodlum. Yeah, his character in our Saturday stream, Team Nevermore. Uh, maybe maybe if if April, uh, their stiletto still in chat, she can vouch. Yeah, it gets uh, it gets a little rough there. Oh, I think that somebody just changed their name. Oh, uh, sorry. Um, did I? Do yeah, something? I think it shifted all the uh, cams on the team there. <laughs> See if you can put that sorry back just, that. just for the stream, and then we can get that changed. Um, sorry about that. Oh yeah, look, Stiletto still in the chat. April, uh, very cray. Yeah, uh, <laughs> she can vouch for Gnostics. Uh, maybe smelling like like a burnt uh, fireplace <laughs> and such from his last net run. Um, also, yeah, and bacon. Also, shout out to uh, Chuck Diesel in chat. I just noticed. Uh, it's Chuckles, Val. There's remember Chuckles uh, no! from back in the touring Hi! days, back, back when uh, I, one of, one of the bands uh, I started, Deroot. You can hear some of those songs in the Sirenscape sound sets. Uh, so, uh, all the tours and things we went on. Chuckles was one of our road crew and security. Uh, in fact, he was one of the ones that uh, went with me when I would uh, go down into the crowd, into the mosh pits, and kind of people would dogpile on me and shit. And he'd be one of the ones to kind of help me get back out and out on the stage. Uh, he also started the Dance Zone when we did the Warp tour. If anybody. Uh, happened to catch that back in the, in the late 90s, early 2000s, and we would stop people out front of the events, and he would do the Carlton, and we'd stop and make people dance with us and shit and get it on the video. And then someone stole all that footage when we got back uh, home. We had a big after party. Someone jacked the camera with all the uh, footage in there from our tour. It was really depressing. But hey, shout out to Chuckles. Hey, yeah, he's still there. Cool. He says hi with the heart. Shout out to Chuckles. I haven't talked to him in a while. Um, and yeah, I'm Rob Mulligan. I'm the founder of Cyber Nation Uncensored. Cyber Nation Uncensored, we do all kinds of streaming and content, GM tips, tutorials, everything uh, that you can imagine when it comes to dystopian future sci-fi gameplay and more. Uh, subscribe, follow, give me some love here on Twitch, also on YouTube. Uh, we also have a really active Discord and Twitter, Instagram, anywhere you see social media. Uh, we even have a Facebook group. Go join that shit too. But yeah, Cyber Nation Uncensored, anywhere you see that. Uh, join, sign up. Also, check out CyberNationUncensored.com. Lots of free assets to help your gameplay, whether you're a player or a game master. Lots of community-created stuff, too. That's really cool. Also, like I mentioned, uh, we have that link you'll see there to our bodega where we've got some really cool shirt designs and stuff. We're also going to be expanding our store now that the Kickstarter stuff just went out. Uh, once all that merch gets out to the supporters from Kickstarter, uh, we're going to launch that stuff on the website for everyone else. So uh, keep your eyes open for that. Um, aside from being the founder of Cyber Nation Uncensored, I'm also the Game Master here. I'm the Game Master for this team. Like I said, we do this on the second and last Wednesday of every month. This is Team Veritas. They're basically a neo-corporation. They're a media corporation. Uh, they're, uh, Looper is their media. Cynthia is their exec. Uh, Phoenix is their fixer. You, well, you can see all the titles there. Um, but uh, check out all the previous VOD uh, sessions that we have on the Cyber Nation Uncensored YouTube because they've been through a lot. They've even been through other team members, a death, all kinds of crazy stuff. I don't want to get into too much detail if you haven't checked it out, because you should. Uh, lots of great plot twists, NPCs, role-playing from the characters, all kinds of good stuff. But right now, right now, the team is basically in Los Angeles. They left Night City to go help Cynthia's uncle, who's been going through some shit. They went there, they found out that he's being blackmailed. Uh, something from his past is coming back to bite him in the ass, apparently... Uh, when he was a younger exec coming up, he went to one of those Merc boards and hired someone to take out some competition. Somebody thought really nobody would miss, no family, whatever. He's kind of a dick. Cut for the same position. Did it. Thought he was in the clear after the third uh, corp war, fourth corporate war, all, all that. Uh, third one especially being on the uh, on the internet, uh, taking all, uh, lots of uh, cases of internet files down. And uh, between the different corporations, they ended up uh, getting into some Merc board stuff, some fixer tracing, uh, just all kinds of things that might trace back to uh, uh, different corporations doing some shady shit during that war. Uh, so during that, it even hit the streets. Corporations were hiring uh, hit squads and putting out their teams to take out fixers and people running the Merc board, just kind of cl clearing their, their trail, you know, kind of covering their tracks um, at that time. So her uncle was lucky enough thinking all that got brushed out, that Merc board was done, the history was done, whatever. He feels bad about it, but it's old news. Now, well, now they've been uh, got a city grant from L.A. to run their perpetual energy silos. They were up uh, amongst a bunch of other uh, up-and-coming neocorps. Uh, it was a bit of competition to get to that, but they won the grant. Um, and yeah, now they're uh, it's a 10-year, 10, 10 million eddy project. Uh, basically, every year uh, it, it throws down for them to continue. But someone hit them up saying, "Hey, I know what you did. I know that you uh, uh, you know put this hit out back when you were younger, and I'm going to expose what type of person you are and start letting people know if you don't." 
uh, siphoned some of that money to my account. It's an offshore's account, couldn't trace it there, but the team was able to trace it to a local uh, data pool sort of uh, shop, a little, uh, you yeah, know, basically a data pool um, where people go and access uh, the local data pools and everything. It's actually called The Pool. Um, and it's like a data pool cafe, if you can think of like an internet cafe sort of thing, but time of red when there's no big internet, you have to go to these sort of uh, clusters of, of uh, data pools and such to get your information, network, have fun, play games, all that sort of shit. So that's where they at least trace that through Cynthia's, one of her minions, being an exec in Cyberpunk Red, you get some minions and stuff as you rank up. Uh, she has a tech named Anchor. She has a, a, a netrunner named Emma. That's the one now that is uh, in the data pool, in the uh, system at the pool, basically trying to get camera footage or any information I believe the team was having her get. While she's doing that, Looper was kind of watching her back while Phoenix was distracting the sleazy sort of manager owner guy, giving her a tour of the spot. But then all of a sudden, Wolf, Kira, and Cynthia noticed Anchor, Cynthia's uh, uh, tech assistant, who was working on Looper's camera. Um, I believe he was tuning it up or making it uh, incognito or something. I'm not remembering. I'll have to check my notes. But he was working on your camera, Looper. Uh, but he was coming back. Uh, but he came running back all nervous, waving them down. Uh, Cynthia, Wolf, and Kira noticed. He said, uh, come on out. They ran out. He says, uh, I was I was coming back up just to tell you I'm done with the camera and meet up, but then I saw a couple thugs breaking into Kira's bus, uh, so I, I just I, I ran up here to let you guys know. And it, so they're just about a block down where Kira and them parked the bus in uh, downtown LA, and there's some thugs breaking into it. So before we dive into gameplay, let me get some Sirenscape sounds going. Shout out to Sirenscape, official sponsor, Cybernation Uncensored, and like my beautiful wife Val mentioned, we'll be at Gen Con at the Sirenscape booth, booth 1740. Come and say hi. And take some pictures. Oh, yeah. All right, cool. Let's uh, let's get the sound. The city sounds going. I love these city sounds in Sirenscape. Get all these nice city. I got Joe snoring over here. Oh well, I'll try to bring up Sirenscape a little louder. See if I can overpower Joe's snoring. I know that's going to be very difficult. That's like a difficulty <laughs> of twenty-eight or something. It is. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's uh, let's take it right into the role play, right where the moment where we left off. Anchor runs up, just as Cynthia, Wolf, and Kira. Um, we're on no initiative at this moment. You guys just kind of walked out, like wondering what what's up with Anchor as he comes up and gets yeah, so, a couple thugs are breaking into your bus, Kira. Yeah, Kira just immediately starts running back towards the bus. Doesn't even say a word. Oh, uh, did you finish the kit with the camera, right? Like the springs, spring load in there? Well, you're inside, Looper, don't forget. You're inside uh, with Emma. Oh, I'm up. Yeah, yeah right, you're inside with your back to Emma while she's hacking the system, coming and having her back while Phoenix right. is taking the guy around. They went outside, so they're out front. Um, but yeah, as Kira, you see Kira kind of hear this and just immediately start um, going down the block uh, down to where you all parked. What's uh, Wolf and Cynthia doing? Okay, I will, I will turn to Anchor and I'll be just like, Hang back, man. We'll take uh, care of it, and I'll take off running, grab out my gun. Yeah, I'll look to, uh, I'll look to him and tell him like, hey, go into the store with Looper and Emma, and hang out with them. Hang back for a little bit and just be, be ready on the line for us. Okay. He starts catching his breath, and you see him go back into the cafe. And and Looper, yeah, you see Anchor come back in after some commotion out there. Now you notice that something went on out there, but he comes in and tells you, um, hey. Yeah, a couple thugs were breaking into Kira's bus, uh, but uh, the team, they just took off down the block to take care of it. I just was letting you know, but I, but I did, I got your camera taken care of, too. I mean, you have it on you, right? Yeah, yeah, here. He gives okay. it over to you. Didn't leave it on the bus, thank you. All right, oh, that's nice. Those are tight springs, man. Nice work. Uh, all right, so thugs, you say? Uh, yeah, just a... Uh, couple thugs there trying to break into the bus i was coming back uh, i got the parts i was working on it um back at the office <laughs> sorry i gotta catch my breath but i i was just coming back thought everything was normal fixed the, cam the camera I was walking past the bus then i just like i heard something and i look over i see some guy fucking with the side door um and then i noticed some other guy like kind of like next to him messing with it and like looked over at me i just tried to like look away just kept hauled ass over here and i told them and they just well, I mean, unfortunately for them, we have a, uh, you know, blitz-slinging, gunslinger, 
you know, uh, whatever you want to call it. I mean, oh yeah, then we have a solo as well, but you know, uh, but you know, uh, they'll take care of it. I'm sure. I'm sure everything will be fine. I have. Cheers, I mean, a... not gonna like someone touching their butt. <laughs> so. uh... Oh, I thought you were referring to Cynthia. I heard some stories. <laughs> oh yeah, no, that's uh, that's who I was referring to. <laughs> um, don't get on her bad side. Hey, shout out to Rufio, uh, rewarding the team with a couple plus twos. Uh, Looper, if you want to track that, your team has a couple plus twos there. Mm -hmm. I'll go need it. One of the big during the intro. Yeah. We have to, yeah, we have three of them. I've, I've been writing them down. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, nice. Uh, yeah, I almost forgot there. Um, all right, cool. Yeah, make sure you track those. Um, but yeah, um, uh, over to uh, uh, Emma. She's still in the system. Tells you, uh, I'm still dealing with this stuff, but I do see that they're is a, a, a control node. There's a, a, a file down there. That's probably where the camera footage is, maybe. Uh, what do you want me to grab? What do you want me to do? Um, yeah, grab that, grab that file for sure, and then we can check out that control. Then check out whatever you can do with that control node. Okay. All right, yeah, she starts messing around the system. And then, yeah, over to you, Phoenix. Um, yeah, the guy, the owner, manager, creepy, sleazy, sort of balding, overweight, uh, slightly sweaty, kibble breath having guy in the shop right he's kind of taking you around arm around every once in a while the arm drops a little too low you kind of got to do that that tactical maneuver raising his arm back up but you're still playing along you had those good persuasion and conversation roles and you've persuaded him into it you almost persuaded him too well last session if you remember he's kind of like hitting on you and stuff is what i'm getting at but hey yeah. it's working you're distracting him while emma's in the system and everything else is going down uh but he's going around he's taking you around showing you all the inputs and stuff and um yeah and uh uh, you know, I've been running this qu quite a while. Uh, hey, if you want to see, uh, you know, how I do some of the books and stuff, I can uh, take you back here. Look, here's the manager's office. You want to step back here? And he starts kind of like trying to get you to go back to his office. Oh, you are precious, but not right at this moment. I'd like to see a little more. Oh, oh. Don't give that. Okay. No, I understand, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we can save that for another rainy day. I'm here for a couple of days in town. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, and just a side note as GM, you did exchange info with them, I believe, at the beginning, um, and kind of like used that uh, leverage of being in town and stuff, and he wants to take you around. I, I, it's coming back now, uh, exactly how deep in this you are. Um, <laughs> but yeah, taking it back out to the street as he continues to tour, give you the tour of uh, the pool. Uh, back oh, up real quick, I, yeah. before that, I hear everything that's going on because we all have our columns on and my ears are real well. I whisper down, like in our conversation, I'm like, well. I wonder how long my ride's gonna be. Just as far as Looper and Emma can hear in the comms, so they can give you some time. Some time, how long am I gonna be dealing with this? But I say very calmly, I don't know when my ride's gonna be. I don't know. Well then do I'll this. Uh, yeah, give me, uh, yeah, give me, I'll take either conversation or persuasion. Your call, Phoenix. So conversation or persuasion. And then everyone in the comms, uh, I guess. Well, I guess it would basically be the ones going out to the vehicle. Um, well, I guess it would be anybody could hear this, can kind of estimate to give her a t uh, an idea of how long to keep them distracted. Um, everyone else, give me a perception. Uh, or actually, no, give me a human perception. Yeah, yeah, give me a human perception to see if you pick up on Phoenix, what Phoenix is dropping. And you want me I'm to give... I was going to say, Kira does not pick up because she is so focused on... Uh, Taking care of the um, it would be uh, he, uh, no, no, no. Uh, Phoenix, give me uh, persuasion oh. or a conversation. Let's see, social skills. Oh, they're both kind of. Did it go through? Yeah, yeah, awesome. Hold on, I'm going to do the math here. Because the higher you get, is the better success you are in getting the message through. Let me see if they're picking it up. I should have used the one of nice. the plus um, Yeah, everyone's picking it up except Looper, and that kind of makes sense. Uh, Looper's not dealing with the vehicle. He just dealt with Anchor coming back in, dealing with Emma, telling her what to do. He's kind of watching over Emma, so he's not, you know, he hears Phoenix kind of chattering, but not picking up on, like, the little innuendo, the little thing. But Wolf, Cynthia, Kira, you can, you kind of get the feeling like Phoenix is concerned, like she's keeping the sleazy dude distracted. She's acting, asking kind of like, you know, when is my ride going to be ready? <laughs> Hey, somebody's uh, fucking with uh, Kira's uh, rod. 
Bro, we're going up there to uh, take care of them now. That's about to block up. Mm. Here's my Swing by, come get you. Well, well, well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Got it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's just making giggling noises the whole time while that guy's just like, just moving her hand and giggling and touching. <laughs> yeah, he continues to take you around. Um, back over to the street, though. Uh, Carol, uh, Wolf, and Cynthia, why don't each of you give me uh, your perception um, as you're approaching, uh, coming up to the bus. You see the bus in the distance as you're getting closer. Give me your perception, kind of gauge what you're seeing here. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to... How far are we away, Kurt? Um, you're, you're about a block away. Um, you know, you parked about a block and a half down where you could find available parking. Um, Man, we are perceptive. <laughs> you're on a high alert. <laughs> let's see. I'm going to bring up... I'll bring up the, the bus here. Um, with the awesome color job that your, uh, I think it was your nephew did, right? Uh, yes. Um, yeah, and while you do that, uh, I'll check out, I'll bring out people's uh, tokens. Because we will do an initiative in just a moment. So bear with me. Let's see here. There's Wolf. There's Cynthia. Perfect. All right, everyone click on your token and then, uh, you know, give me your initiative. And while you do that, I'll check the perception rolls here. Oh, wow, great perception. Um, yeah, and you know, it makes sense, Wolf being the solo, but Kira, Cynthia, both of you notice, um, yeah, there's, there's a couple of thugs breaking into the bus. As you get up there, you see the bus, the bright painted colors and things people coming and going traffic you know it's downtown la it's not quite into what's considered the combat zone of la which is down past the sort of corporate wall uh going into san bernardino and beyond uh, kind of fizzles out towards death valley but um but it's still downtown la which is you know unless you're in the parking garages in a secure building it's it's borderline combat zone uh, uh lapd will still come into downtown la it's not like 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 i said it's not complete combat zone but there are booster gangs and more thug-style stuff than typical uh, Night City when you're outside a combat zone. But you see, uh, as you're approaching the bus, you see a couple gangster-looking guys. Um, they look like they're uh, trying to break into the car. It, there's two of them. Um, they're wearing, like, rough leathers and things. And uh, you absolutely can see uh, one of them has, like, a piranha uh, tattoo on the neck. The other one on his leather jacket on the back has a big sort of open mouth. Almost looks like the mouth of a shark. Or a fish with a bunch of teeth uh, and it says piranhas on it um but uh those two are kind of trying to break into the bus uh and then wolf uh getting just slightly higher on that perception and being a solo making sense uh right at, right next to the bus like as you're walking down the sidewalk and where the bus is parked there's an alley uh in between the blocks and, and kira's kind of parked right near there but on the alley uh, you see another one of the guys he's just barely poking out from the alley and he's kind of like looking up and down uh, the street. The others didn't notice that, but he almost has a bit of a lookout, but uh, he didn't notice you uh, looking at him. I just did a little contested there, but uh, but that's what you notice as you're approaching. Alright, so I go into my comm. I go, Kara, Cynthia, in the alley. Yeah, and going uh, uh, in initiative order here, uh, the two getting breaking in are preoccupied. Oh, just click on your token. Uh, oh, it looks like you might have an X there. Hold on one second. Yeah, just click on your token so it's highlighted. And uh -huh. and then once you see it's highlighted with like the three dots or whatever, um, then go onto your character sheet and click initiative. You'll see on your character sheet there's an initiative button. combat page. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I thought it was on the character page. Oh, that is. No, it's on combat. It's on combat. Uh, we're going into combat. It's under, uh... Oh, my God. I got it. Oh, you got it? Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay, cool. No, uh, oh, <laughs> yeah, not that great. I could tell by the tone of your voice, you're like, yeah, I got it. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Um, but no, everybody, uh, now that I got kind of initiative, the order as you're seeing what you see with that perception as you're approaching, um, and based on what you see, I'd love uh, Cynthia Wolf and Carrie to give me a streetwise. 
Sounds good. <laughs> yeah, but it, it's still, uh, it's enough, like, uh, well, at least for Wolf and Kira, both of you, you recognize the logo and stuff. Uh, it's it's the Piranhas. They're kind of known as a party gang. Um, and in the sense, I didn't want to just do a normal rep check. I wanted to do kind of like a streetwise sort of thing. Uh, because, you know, you're out of Night City, but gangs, corporations, brands, like, you know, they're worldwide or at least uh, nationwide or maybe uh, in sections, who knows. Um, but you do see some piranhas here. You're familiar. Uh, but yeah, they're kind of known as a party gang. They'll kind of get into whatever. They'll steal, they'll mug, they'll kill. They'll do whatever they need just to get some money, just to probably get some drugs, party, do whatever. They're pretty careless. They don't give a fuck. Um, but they're less like organized crime sort of thing. They're less malicious like Maelstrom. They're less, you know, whereas other gangs kind of have their niche. This is kind of a party gang. Uh, but they're just as dangerous. They're known to uh, fuck shit up, you know, and steal and... All that stuff, but you recognize them. I'll let you take it from there. All right, yell out to, uh, to him. Hey, get away from the bus if you don't want to die. Very authoritative. Continue <laughs> <laughs> moving towards them. Yeah, they look, uh, all, all three of them kind of like stop and look and notice you and then kind of like step out and then they'll like look at each other and just kind of like smile a little bit and nod and then like, one of them steps up in front as the other one that's by the car steps behind him. And then the guy from the alley kind of steps out a little bit too. I mean, you can tell the one in the front's kind of flexing a little, kind of like bows out. You know, one of those like holding his arms out far. Like there's no muscle here, but he's holding his arms out as if there's muscle there. You ever see those types of people? You know, like he's like kind of doing that. Like I'm really this big, you know, but uh, he's trying to flex on you a little bit. Uh, it looks like it could be a bit of a stand, uh, stare down here, a standoff. Kara is just loading up her gun, um, <laughs> not saying a word. Do we need to do a face down. Nice. Yeah. What's Cynthia doing? Oh, she's she has her pistols out. She's at the ready. She's waiting for them to make the first move. Nice. Yeah, as you say that, um, yeah, Cynthia and Kara, you know, they arm themselves. They seem to be ready. They're right behind you, uh, Wolf, as you're kind of taking initiative here. Um, and yeah, this guy he steps up a little bit further. Um, he slightly like looks and like nudges his guys as he sees Cynthia and Kara with you um, And then you see like uh, the two guys behind just kind of like laugh like <laughs> bunch of bitches All right, yeah, let's fuck them up and then uh, the guy kind of like flexes on you and it, it's a definite face down What's our rep now? Um, hold on, let me double check that um, Here it's a two All right. And how far away are we at this point? Um, oh, you're only about uh, maybe 10 meters away. Okay. Uh, I rolled a 15. Um, yeah, as he kind of like flexes, uh, yeah, you, you step up, you notice him trying to do a sort of face down sort of maneuver, um, staring in the eyes, but uh, yeah, you don't break, uh, you don't break uh, concentration, you're just, you're on him. Um, your stare is just piercing through him as you just see him kind of crumble. Uh, you know, he just kind of like looks at you and then he has to fuck the bitches up, his friends say, and he kind of flexes a little and then you make that eye contact and he, you know, he kind of like steps back a little, looks at Kieran and Cynthia and just kind of like steps back a little like, yeah, yeah, f fuck him up, guys, fuck him up. And he kind of like trying to get his boys to kind of step up in front of him a little as they look at him a little <laughs> confused. Um, but they do. They step up, and you see them all kind of pulling out uh, pistols and some type of weapon. Looks like he might have a melee weapon of some type. It's hard to tell as they're pulling it out, and the friends get in front of them. Uh, but, uh, as soon as I, I see them start to draw, I would be wanting to lay down suppress the fire. Yeah, I'm like, no one ha none of you have to die tonight. <laughs> nice. You can just run. <laughs> you just run away. None of you have to die. Yeah, give me your uh, suppressive fire. I believe that's your automatic. Oof. You just hear Looper on the comms just being like, same same shit, different city? Pretty yeah. much. I'm like, Cynthia, I, I tried. I tried not to shoot anybody. Listen, I really did. It's the law of the land, man. Uh, as I like I to say, if they're going to fuck around, they can go find out. <laughs> 
Nice, and as you uh, kind of stare the guy down and he backs up and the two guys, you see Kira kind of step out to the side of you, Wolf, and just, just lay down a little bit of suppressive fire. Um, and the one guy that was stepping in the back that you kind of intimidated and one of the friends that was stepping up uh, from the side, basically the two that were trying to break into the vehicle, uh, both of them go, oh shit, and kind of like duck down and r start like running towards the alley. Um, you can tell on the next move they're basically going to have to take cover. Um, but the other one uh, that was from the alley kind of like sees them and just like, what the fuck? And like raises up his gun. He doesn't seem uh, to be affected. The bullets whiz past him. Um, he's not, not as intimidated. Um, but yeah, Cynthia. All right, I'm gonna fire the guy still standing. Oh, I kind of reversed that uh, that initiative there. That's fine. We'll get it. We'll get it on this next one. Go ahead, Cynthia. I'm gonna fire the guy who stayed, like a dummy. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> All right. So attack roll is 18. Nice. That's a hit. Give me damage. 16. The cool. Yeah, you, you hit him uh, direct in the chest. You can tell it did a pretty good amount of damage as he kind of like thrusts back and raises up his gun and takes a shot at you, Cynthia. Um, his attention was kind of on Wolf, but after you kind of hit him with that, um, and all this is happening within seconds, uh, is your reflex 8 or higher? Are you able to... It, it, I should have evasion, yeah. Nice, go for it. Yeah, give me evasion. Yeah, no, wait, no, I don't. Oh, I lied. That's a different oh, okay. character I was thinking of. <laughs> I double-checked, right. I know. <laughs> no problem. Hold on, let me just check the chart. Uh, that's a hit. Yeah, he takes a shot at you. Um, with right. his pistol. Eleven points of damage. Eh, not as tough as me. Nice, yeah, it just thuds into you um, as he takes that shot. Um, and then he takes a second shot at you, Wolf. Alright. I'm looking for evasion, one sec. Yeah, gotta be to 16, just so you know with your evasion. Oh! Nope, he hit me. Nice, this guy's pretty good. Couple shots off, boom. One into Cynthia, one into Wolf. Um, and, you know, you can kind of tell, even without doing a deduction here, Wolf, you can tell, even by the way you intimidated the one guy, the other guy that was breaking into the car, you're kind of getting the feeling like the two breaking into the cars might be a bit of, like, underlings to the one standing in the alley looking out. Like, this is the guy less intimidated, dodged the suppressive fire, pop, pop, hit you and Cynthia. A um, little bit more skilled than the other two, you can kind of get that assumption. But only eight points of damage. Does that, get, yeah, that doesn't even get... Think. Yeah, so... Yeah. <laughs> Couple shots, pop, pop, does that. Let's put initiative back where it needs to be. Uh, Wolf. Uh, but before we do that, let's go back into the uh, the shop here. Um, yeah, uh, Emma basically tells you that she's all clear. She's into the system. She copied the file looper. She's like, I pretty much copied. It looks like it was just camera footage. There is an employee uh, maintenance schedule. Uh, really not much in there. I grabbed it. Um, anything else you want me to do while... You know, I've already taken out the black ice. I'm in the system. How, how much longer, you know, before the manager guy gets back? What are we doing? Uh, yeah, um, I mean, if, uh, Phoenix, uh, I, how's it going over there? Like a distraction. And yeah, Phoenix, guy, the guy's just taking you around again, showing you every little thing. You know, taking his time, like explaining to you how the brain dance wo works, the different options that they have, where they source their videos from. Like he really, like thinks he's impressing you with his knowledge of the, his his place. You know. At that point, I just I'm hearing everything. And I just give him a cute little nickname. I'm like, oh my little sweet little meatball. I think my ride is almost here, so I'm gonna go ahead and meet him outside. But you can go ahead and walk me to the door. I got your contact, and you're under my little sweet little meatball. Oh. And I show him to, putting it in my agent. Okay. Uh, uh, let's get out of here. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, that's sucks. Su kind of cut it short. Was hoping to show you the books in the back. <laughs> just you know, I told just you that can be for enough time. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. I'll, I'll hit you up. Uh, cool. Yeah. And he walks you up and uh, yeah, he gives you a second card. He's like, yeah, don't forget, my name's Jake. My contacts on there. Uh, and as you're kind of walking towards the front of the shop. And I just go ahead and grab it. Oh, you're so sweet. And I just put it in my robe. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And I just start walking out the door, giggling. 
Nice. Yeah, no, Looper. Just uh, start talking, walking towards the commotion because I can still hear it in my con. Yeah, yeah. Now you hear a couple shots going off. Cynthia Wolf here, kind of talking shit to some people or something going on. Uh, everyone hears that, but you also hear Looper kind of uh, working with Emma. Uh, but Emma, yeah, Emma, you see Emma, Anchor, Looper, all of you see Phoenix kind of coming up from the back with the sleazy manager, owner kind of guy. Uh, next round, he'll probably be up to the manager's de desk where all of you are, uh, right next to the front door. Um, but as she's approaching, yeah, Emma says, Any anything else? Uh, I grabbed the files. Are we good? Yeah, uh, any, any footage of us? Uh, yeah, make sure that's clear from the system. Oh, okay, shit, yeah, I, I almost forgot. Let me, uh, sh uh, let me drop a quick virus uh, from the footage that's there, because uh, I copied, I didn't delete. Let me go fuck with that and then drop a cloak in there. I need more time, I need more time. She starts messing uh, around. Uh, anchor, anchor uh, fucking run into him or something. Just trip over yourself, fall into the dude. Me? Uh, I don't really have the skills for that shit, man. Uh, if he fucks with me, I'm not going to be able to lie my way out of okay. that. Uh, I'm, a, I'm, I'm trying, man, just trip him! Just jump uh, into I, him. I, you stay here, watch her, and then I, I'm gonna just book it. Just start. Just once he starts hesitating, then I'm, I'm just gonna be like, All right, "Fuck it, never mind, I'll do it." And I just kind of just try to make my way over and like act like I'm just you know at spacey out and just kind of just walk right into him and hopefully I can knock him over or something. Nice. Uh, but... Yeah. If you if you want to knock him over, uh, give me uh, either brawling or martial arts would even work uh, for kind of a tactful move to knock him down. Um, I would even take athletics. Uh, player's choice. Oh, man. I feel like I'm at a casino or something. Player's choice. Let's do this. Uh, I'm definitely going to use one of these plus twos. Go for it. Go for it. What are you using, right. though? Because I want to contest it with the oh, same... Oh, bra brawling. Okay, cool. Let's do it. I mean, it would be the same way if I used athletics. Okay. Yeah. Either way, I just wanted to have it be the same for this, uh, this, this sure. sleazy Jake guy. Hold on one second. Nice. What did you get? Uh, 16. Um, yeah, you, you bump into him, uh, and you're not able to knock him down. Uh, he's he's short, stout, um, outweighs you a bit. Um, doesn't yeah. seem as athletic or anything at all, Like, uh, but definitely he's an anchor. Uh, sorry, anchor. Uh, shout out to Cynthia's minion. As if that NPC is real, I'm like apologizing to myself. Sorry, Anchor. Um, but uh, I don't know. Figure that one out. That was weird. Um, but yeah, you, you try to bump into him, uh, not, and he doesn't budge. Just, and he's like, hey, uh, what the hell is this? Excuse you. And he, uh, Are you okay? He like looks towards you, Phoenix. Are you okay? You were such a little gentleman. What's your problem? Start indicating with what a good deal. Jay, Jay, uh, holy crap, Jay, Jay. Uh, you, you don't, you don't recognize me? What? Ah, uh, it, it's, it's me. Come on, you, you don't recognize me? Come on, you can't, you can't say you don't recognize uh, me, man. Like, we go way back. Uh, where are you, persuasion? There you go. Pretty little bugger. Twenty. Um, uh, I. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't. I don't remember. I did. I, remind me. Uh, it, it's working. Uh, He's believing it. Uh, remind me. You know, back in the day, going to the bodegas, hitting up the movie theaters, hitting on girls. College, man. We went to college together. Uh, I, I didn't go to college. I. Uh, what? You might have hey. a wrong person. I think you. You, you might be get confused a little. Didn't bit. go to your classes, but Jake. you're definitely there. Yeah, Jake. Really? Ah. He seems really confused, I mean, but it's working. Like you, you've you've persuaded him, and he's kind of engaged in the conversation, uh, but it's confusing the shit out of him. Uh, Phoenix, you see this going down? Uh, uh, are you're you're sticking with it, or are you hanging out, or what are you doing? I'm slowly looking over to Amagorn, but I'm still standing there trying to give a little bit more cover just to keep his engaged in the whole thing. Like, oh, you you're a very poppy little, little meatball, I'm Jack. And still leaning over to Emma. Yeah, now, yeah, you saying that, like, he's, like, thinking it's impressive. Uh, yeah, actually, like, uh, everyone knows me. Yeah, that was me. Yeah, that probably was me. Uh, yeah, I used to get in there. Yeah, we, yeah, we used to hang out and stuff, right? I, yeah. Uh, it's confusing, Yeah, man, getting too, into man. All, sorts of, all sorts of mischief, you know, down here in the City of Angels. Uh, I mean, yeah, what you been up to lately, man? I mean, you got a nice establishment here, uh, you know, I... You know, I thought I recognized you, and I—that's—I thought I'd 
Now come say hi, man. It's just been way too long. Like what you been, what you been doing lately? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I just doing it. He leans in and he's like, I mean, honestly, man, I, I don't remember you. I apologize, but uh, but yeah, uh, uh, oh, but yeah, this is just been doing my my shop here and uh, yeah, you know, running it, holding it down. You know, man of L.A. Uh, kind of like looks at you, Phoenix. Like you can tell he's like. Seems to be confused by Looper, but playing along. And you know Looper, so you know this is bullshit. It's not like you have to roll. So like, but you can, so you can totally tell he's like playing along to impress you. But you can tell he's confused. Like it's just an awkward situation for this guy. But uh, back over to the street, Wolf. All right. So this guy who just tried to shoot us, I'm going to move up the helm and use martial arts and strike him twice. Nice. Yeah. Go for it. Give me. Give me both martial arts. 19 and 20. First one's a hit. Oh, uh, yeah. Second one's a hit. I crit failed on that. I don't even have to roll the second one to know. Um, those are great rolls. Yeah, you walk up. Uh, you can describe it as you want. Think about it if you want. Uh, but give me the give me both damages while you do that. Yeah. And, and, and know that you got way above, especially on that second one where he critically failed. Uh, so feel free to embellish your moves and become a badass to this guy because that was great. <laughs> the first one is a oh crit. well shit okay let's let's figure that out before you describe it too because that's going to come into play give me 2d6 All right. and that's an extra five damage holy shit yeah that's great it's almost like you're a solo or something <laughs> it's weird that was a nice roll yeah Ooh. man just decimated that dude what was the uh, was like on the wrong what was the critical <laughs> roll seven seven where am I at okay here uh, for an object, uh, any at the end of every turn. Oops. At the end of every turn, if he moves more than four uh, meters on foot, uh, he suffer suffers the critical injury uh, bonus damage. So it'll take another five if he moves beyond uh, four meters. So that was pretty <laughs> really severe. Um, but while I calculate uh, the math here, what was your damage? So that was seventeen uh, uh, plus plus that five. Yes, yeah, so twenty-two. Plus four for my, my solo, because I have four points in spot weakness. So 26. And then that second hit was seven, right? And second hit so is seven. So 33. Um, uh, so I walk up to him, uh, and, I, and I'm always uh, wearing uh, spike knuckles anyway. So I like take the first one and just clock him uh, in the ribs and break off uh, my thing, uh, the spike off my, my favorite pair of spike knuckles. And I was like, what the fuck did you do that for? And then slam him in the face again. <laughs> yeah, he rocks back and, like, ah, and kind of like digs at the piece that's stuck in him. Um, and then you see him just kind of like spit out some teeth and blood. Um, and he even like takes a knee for a second and stumbles back up. Like he's still kind of in the, in the fight a little. Um, but you can tell he's hanging on by a couple HP at most. Um, he's borderline dead. Uh... You know, he's, he's walking dead right here. Um, but yeah, over die, take your boys and go. And over to uh, Cynthia, you see uh, Wolf kind of step up to this guy doing some serious damage um, as those other two thugs are kind of running uh, into the alley away from Kira's suppressive fire that she just laid down. What are you doing? Hmm. Should we let him live so he can warn his friends, or should we just take him out and leave him in the middle of the street? Kill him. Kill him? <laughs> Wolf? Hey, they're just going around. They're just a party game. We don't need to kill them. I mean, really, I mean, good. I mean, I understand, Kara. This is your ride, but yeah, they're just a party gang. And we definitely don't want to attract unwanted attention. We don't want to too much attention to us. Let me interject here, because you only have a few seconds, you know, because each round in combat is te technically supposed to be three seconds, rules is written. But you know me as a GM, I love role-playing, and we love to let the team express things. So we always let everybody get, you know, some words in a sentence, right? So let's not push mm -hmm. it too much beyond that. Here's what yeah. I want to ask Kira in character. Uh, would Kira uh, be so, like, like, I don't know, like, she obviously loves her bus, she's a nomad, she loves her vehicles, it's her family bus, and all that sort of thing, so she's got that going for her. But just on a personality level, is she the type that would totally almost lose her cool? Like, no, fuck this, kill him. Just like you kind of said, kill him. To the point where we might have a little contested role while the team's saying, nah, let's let him live, we don't need the attention. Versus Kira saying, no, fuck this, kill him. Like, is it that type of situation? Yeah, she is, after the whole incident with her family and then now her bus is being messed with, she's just in a state that she's kind of ticked off. 
and so yeah, I, she's gonna make somebody pay. I like that. It makes sense, and I would like to give Kira a plus two on this contested role, um, just oh, because she's kind of fueled by that past family issue in the previous campaign and things that happened. Just I don't know. I don't want to get too much into it. Everyone watch those VOD uh, uh, previous se session campaigns on the Cybernation Uncensored YouTube. But um, but yeah, let's do a little contested role. Um, let's do a little. Uh, do you want it to be? And this is Kira's choice. Do you want the contested role to be athletics or brawling? Do you think Kira's gonna like dodge her way around it using athletics, or is she straight up gonna try to like have to push uh, Wolf and Cynthia out of way using brawling a little bit to get through to take her shot or do whatever she's gonna do? What do you want it to be? Yeah, right now, I, her her thoughts are getting at them as quickly as possible, so she's gonna take the shortest path to brawling. She just pushed right through them. I like it. Oh, All right. I'm yes. about to get my shit rocked. <laughs> Cynthia, Wolf, and Kira, everybody give me brawling, and everyone let me know what the numbers are. Let's see who who's triumphant over Kira or not. Can you use martial arts? No, 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 it has to be brawling. I want to do a, a contested thing for Kira here. And don't forget, Kira, oh, you, you, God, got a, you, got a, you got a plus two. Oh, my two. God, she's there's, angry. <laughs> there's a there plus two out there. Oh, my God. What do you die? That's without a plus two? You just launched yeah. me to the side of the bus, 27 dude. With, 27 without You're across the street. I'm literally <laughs> <laughs> <Honestly, laughs> obliterated. Oh, my God. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, honestly, I got this. If, yeah, if, she's, if she's running for, uh, forward and she's intent on killing this guy, I said my piece, you know, and I said, and I'll just step aside and go, I told you you didn't have to die. <laughs> well, I like the idea of you saying, no, let's let him live, you know, like, let's, uh, uh, you know, not cause a scene, but hey, you know, got it. But yeah, let's uh, go back over to uh, Loop or Phoenix, everybody in the shop. Suddenly, suddenly, you see Cynthia's body get launched through the front window of the pool by Kira. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Get throwing her a block and a half back to the pool through the front window. No. Uh, I was picturing her like a cartoon character, like there one second and then just, just her <laughs> shoes and nothing. <laughs> No, but uh, but yeah, Kara, you know, both Wolf and Cynthia, like, uh, let's you guys are kind of discussing real quick in between all this chaos, like, let's let them live, let's question them, like, yeah, we don't want to make a scene, just as Kira just kind of shoves both of you out of the way, uh, knocking Wolf into the bus, knocking Cynthia into the wall, into the building, I mean, just throwing you out of the way as she steps forward uh, to the thug that's barely hanging on by some HP. Kira, what are you going to do? She takes out her, she, she, she has the handgun, so she just walks up and shoots him. And then points it at the other guys. What are y'all doing? She's giving them the opportunity to run. Nice. Yeah, without even having a, a, a roll for that, um, you you easily walk up and shoot him. Uh, he can't even, uh, you know, dodge that at point blank. I'm going to kind of streamline that. This guy was hanging on by like an HP, literally. Um, but yeah, you easily walk up, put one in him, uh, looking at the other two as they are kind of like dodging into the alley. You see one kind of... Uh, behind a dumpster, another behind like a pile of rubble and shit. As they just kind of like look back and see you take out their buddy, and uh, they're they're still behind, uh, you know, kind of hiding out. You can tell that, uh, you know, they took cover, but intimidated a bit at how just how quick uh, you walked up, intimidated them, laid down suppressive fire. They they had to run from, and then took out their their kind of like little team leader or whatever, uh, in execution style after Wolf fucked them up. So, yeah, they're hiding and intimidated. Um, let me, uh, uh, oh, Cynthia, uh, taking care of the doggy. Yeah, she's, uh, grabbing that insulin. Okay, no problem. Let's take our five-minute bio break real quick. Uh, don't anybody go anywhere in chat. Uh, it's a great place to take a five-minute break, just as Kira, uh, took out the thug and the, the other two are kind of hiding in the alley. Um, Emma's trying to lay down that virus and cover the footage and do the cloak. Uh, when we come back, uh, we'll see, I think we're up to Cynthia, right? Uh, yeah, we'll get, uh... Or no, we're back over to uh, Wolf. Um, so yeah, uh, what's did that? We get Cynthia. What did Cynthia get? Uh, Cynthia no, she didn't. didn't. Well, y'all were arg basically arguing over. Whether oh, that's or not right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I, I forgot. Kira kind of just marched away through. I forgot in the last round. Uh, I just kind of let Kira, because uh, Kira was reacting when she was running up to the thing. So initiative order. I went. You know, she. Oh, she laid down the suppressive fire. So uh, we'll just go with that. We'll, we'll go with that order. So when we get back, let's get uh, Cynthia's reaction to uh, uh, Kira taking out the guy, the two hiding in the alley, um, while Looper and Phoenix and Emma and all of them are back in the shop. Uh, don't anybody go anywhere? Five minutes. We'll be right back. Mics are hot.
Uh, this is the first time I decided not to kill someone. <laughs> and you're out for blood vengeance. Just leaving oh, bodies it, down it, everywhere. I mean, I was already planning to do an aim shot at his head. But then your butt messed him up so much. It was like, okay. Yeah, he, he just absolutely just blew this guy's head off his shoulders. I did, yeah, I mean, that was a... That was a nice crit there. I mean, that that was a hard hit. <laughs> yeah. I can't take you guys anywhere. And I was like, and apparently you have one HP left. <laughs> Jeez. No, Dude. Uh, and I shot the why did I imagine? he was using was a why Mustang imagine... arm submachine gun. It's exotic heavy SMG yeah. that I just blew off his head with. I just yeah. have it in my mind when Kira went over to uh like push Wolf and and Cynthia out the way. Like, Cynthia, like, Wolf stumbled back and fell a couple feet, and Cynthia just went off screen, just, yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, I'm like, You're another block, like, you're just, I just, just like, my, off screen, just, ah! <laughs> yeah, I just got my humanity back, uh, you know, after therapy. So, you know, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, you know, go back to my normal self, you know, it's like, okay, we don't have to kill him, you know, because usually we've been just going, you know, Oh, okay, well, you know, we can we can let them live, just knock them out or something or other, right? Nope, Kara's out for blood vengeance tonight. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, like, yesterday uh, when I started thinking about the stream today, it's like, okay, yeah, these people are going to die. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I told them they could have ran away beforehand. I don't know. I think uh, I think these two guy guys in the alley are gonna have brown trousers. I mean, we literally walked up and within like the six seconds, uh, like took their leader out. Yeah. The suppressive yeah. fire caused two of them to run away, and the leader just got tumbled to death. Yeah, got decimated. Wow, that that was a lucky crit. That was just <laughs> lucky crit. That was nice. I um. I don't think I've ever done that much with a punch before. <laughs> well, yeah, my brawling's six and my dex is six. And my brawling's not real high, but my martial arts is good. <laughs> plus the fact that I gave you a plus two on top of that, so that was good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was the thing. All right, let me step away for a second.
Jeez, I came back in and everyone's gone. Was it something you said? It's just you. What happened? I just uh, I just stepped back myself. <laughs> no, we were talking. You we were talking about that was a lucky hit, and you know, after I got my little bit of humanity back, I'm back to my normal personality. It's like yeah, you know, she's out for blood. <laughs> My leg. Uh. Well, you know, I tried to warn them. I told them they didn't have to die. <laughs> you really did, though. I did. We even, do, we even tried to give them the option to run, and that was just a mistake to just not get up and just haul ass, honestly. Yeah. After that yeah, first shot, he showed me, like, um, uh, maybe this wasn't a great idea. You know. I think after that that first hit, I think he he realized that he had really made a mistake. I think so. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I made a calculated choice, but boy, am I bad at math. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting here thinking it's like. It's like, wow, really? Some uh, low-level little gangers gonna, gonna try and take three of us? <laughs> Honestly, though. Oh. And <laughs> 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 Val, what are you doing? That was awesome. <laughs> that was crazy, Val. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the way you came on camera, dude. <laughs> yeah, you were like, three, it was like... <laughs> it's like a horror movie or something. <laughs> I'm really trying hard not to cry on camera from laughing too hard, but it's getting increasingly harder every time. <laughs> We're just ridiculous. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's, it's really uh, funny, uh, because, oh you know, they all mean they, uh, um, Wolf and Con are kind of polar opposites, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and Wolf really likes people and stuff, you know. And yeah, <laughs> it's uh, he's like, he's like, dang, you know, I finally got rid of the a little bit of the PTSD. <laughs> he's feeling great right now. He's he's okay. vibing. This is the way it's gonna be. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry you joined a group of murder hobos. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I should have known after uh, y'all like. Oh, I don't want to say too much. I don't want to give spoilers. I'm not a murder hobo. I'm just a klepto. I'm definitely a murder hobo. I definitely murked yeah, two guys for just following us. Well, it was weird. I don't even have him pocketing. I'm just like Tatio. Yeah, Cynthia is the exact executioner. <laughs> oh God, Milo! Why would you do this? Uh. Demon cat. Your cat's attacking he came, up, he came up and just put his claws in my hip just for no reason. <laughs> it was just like, hey, oh, fuck you. So a normal cat, huh? Like a cat. Oh, it's a normal <laughs> cat stuff, yeah. Demon cat behavior. <laughs> That's normal. That's, That's normal cat behavior. That's yeah, he's your minion. With dogs, you know, dogs <laughs> never walk up and put their claws in your hip, you know. Hey, <laughs> I just saw oh, I love a PWB in chat. Uh, what's up? Oh, and I see you say you like Rob's GMing and the players role playing well. Hell yeah, you do. We all do. <laughs> Especially that GM, right? Let's talk about that. That GM's awesome. <laughs> He's great, Absolutely. man. Hey, Cold Spider. Cool. Returning chatter. Oh, hey, Cold Spider. I, 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 uh, my mind just went blank on your name. But yeah, we've been talking. You you uh, want to make that rocker boy, that G.G. Allen rocker boy. Um, but if you do it, we got to tone it down. Uh, hey, we're back from break. Everyone can see us now. Might as well come back. I'm here talking to chat, but uh, but yeah. If anybody's not familiar with G.G. Allen, yeah, that that's that's pushing the envelope as far as Rocker Boy. Uh, I've 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 had the luxury of uh, seeing all his videos, even the underground live ones. My one of my best friends, leader of our dance band, we used to tour. Uh, I don't know if Chuckles is still in uh, chat, but Crazy Joe Jenkins, rest in peace. Um, yeah, he kind of turned me on to Gigi way, way the fuck back in the day, and there, there is some crazy shit I can't even talk about on stream that I've seen uh, from that band. And I'm actually friends with Merle, his brother. Um, after Gigi died, and Merle's out here in LA, I uh, made friends with him online and got to meet. And um, but yeah, so much crazy shit. Uh, uh, beware if you if you uh, Google him, you might see some crazy shit. But uh, let's take it back to the team. Uh, wow, couple couple thugs were breaking into Kira's bus. Bad mistake. 
Um, another one standing in the alley. Couple got intimidated uh, by Wolf, kind of dipped out, uh, you know, back it up a little. The carrier just lays down, so it's oppressive. They kind of have to run into the alley just to, as the one gets severely damaged by Wolf, and then Kara walks up, just kind of executing them down and telling the other guys uh, they shouldn't fight back or give up, uh, sh or shouldn't have fought, uh, or broke into the bus. Um, I forget the exact words, but uh, but they got the message. Uh, they're intimidated by what just went down and how quick it went down. Um, but Cynthia, since we kind of fucked up our initiative, uh, which yes. we've kind of admitted to the past couple rounds, um, and I apologize for that, uh, but hey, it worked out. Uh, your solo and Nomad just fucked shit up in a matter of seconds. Uh, but Cynthia, you see all this shit going down as the two are cowering in the alley and Kira's up there. What are you doing? Oh, uh, so I get up off the ground after being completely steamrolled. <laughs> I forgot about that. Just, like, just gets up, she dusts herself off a little bit and takes like a moment, take a deep breath. Kira, absolutely respect your decision to completely blow that dude away. Don't ever put your hands on me like that ever fucking again. And then she turns to the alleyway and she looks at those two guys and goes, run. Nice. I'll be like, no one else has to die. <laughs> yeah, give me a Cynthia. Give me a persuasion, um, and you, and I'm gonna give you a plus four on this because of Wolf and Kira both, uh, you know, interjecting to these guys what they just saw. Um, yeah, so plus four to that. Uh, don't tell me what it is just yet. Hold on one second. Okay. I'm about to go do it. Yeah. What'd you get? What'd you get? Uh, sixteen That's... with the plus four would be twenty. Uh, yeah, bo both uh, guys now uh, just kind of like poke out, they see what they see, they look at each other and they just like scurry off, like they just kind of jump up like knocking garbage and hitting the dumpster, knocking into each other, into the alley, uh, coming out into the street almost like, you know, in a comical way almost if it wasn't for all the blood and guts around, right? Um, but they just kind of like sliding out and their friends, oh no, shit, oh. they just kind of like run down the alley, uh, taking off, absolutely intimidated. Uh, but no more initiative. You three are standing there, uh, a dead body on the ground, uh, two running off. Here, um, I think, look, I think you look got Look at the bus and the... see if there's any damage. Did you want to play the body lottery today? <laughs> Is there an LA body lottery? I probably. Oh yeah. Do we need to push it up a little? <laughs> LA. People die here all the time. I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't. Yeah, and give me a, a perception while you're all chatting uh, about that. Come to the wrong page. Where am I going? Hold on. Kira's just seeing red. About the bus. We just need a wolf uh, perception, right? Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Well, yeah. As you, as you all are chatting, um, you know, you don't notice anything. Uh, the perception didn't really turn up anything. Um, except for Wolf. Uh, Wolf, like while you're sitting there and you're talking about these guys and the things going on um, that just went down, um, you start to hear uh, a siren approaching um, and it just seems to be getting louder and louder. Um, uh -huh. Hey, Kira, siren. Go ahead and uh, grab the bus and, uh, and take off. We'll walk on away. Sound good, yeah. Cynthia? Sounds good to me. Kira, it'll be loading into the bus. And Let's get out of here. Turn her up. And yet, a PWB says sirens in the background. There's always a siren somewhere. There absolutely is. This is the dark future. Um, you can hear. But this one approach uh, is approaching a bit fast. Uh, you can hear it going on. And that great perception. I'll let you see. Like you know, a couple blocks down, um, you can see a couple LAPD beat cops uh, walking up, and they have a hovering drone next to them um, that has the siren going, the lights going. You can see people on the sidewalk kind of part in the way. Some cars looking, um, and they're making their way up the block, like in your direction. Someone, well, someone might go. have called something, yeah. If I don't know if that's a sign to go, that is. Sign to go. Kara? Oh. What was your response yeah, to that? Kara, what, yeah, Kara got on the bus and started up and drove and was would have driven off as soon as um, that's what she was advised to do. Okay, yeah, and so you get in the bus, get it going. Um, as these cops are uh, approaching, they're, they're probably... A, Still about a block away by now, even by the time you get in, get things going. Um, we're back over into uh, the pool. 
Um, Looper, yeah, Emma's messing around uh, with things. Um, you can see her there with Anchor. Um, you're standing there kind of confusing the guy as he's playing along, trying to impress Phoenix. You know, kind of, you've persuaded him. He believes your bullshit. Um, but he's confused and he's like, God. But yeah, that, that, that's great. I, I, I really should get back to work, though. Uh, if we could uh, catch up some other time or something. Here, here's my card. I, I mean, card. yeah. But, uh, I mean, you're you're, uh, you're not still dealing with that uh, that shit you were dealing with a couple of years ago, are you? What? Oh, yeah, you know, no, that, no, no, that no, 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 no. That, that cleared up. <laughs> I, I saw the mid tech and uh, got that cleared up right away. Hey, not around the ladies, man. Not around the, the ladies, man. Man, sorry. I mean, you know, it's, shit gets around, you know. And you know, I'm glad, glad you got that taken care of because that was that was pretty ugly, you know. This, uh, oof, you know. I mean, I, I I couldn't believe you showed it to me. Even that, that, I mean, I wouldn't have shown a single human soul to that to begin with. But I mean, uh, neither here nor there, man. Um, but look, uh, I uh, I just want to say, like, hey, uh, great seeing you, and uh, and I'm like, try, like, I mean, because I'm I'm wearing shades, so I mean, so I'm like. Constantly looking back between him and Emma, just being like, <laughs> like, yeah, man, um, it, great catching up. Uh, hey, man, like, do you, do you ever rent this place out for like large groups or anything like that? Uh, not really. I haven't had that request, but I mean, if I, yeah, I'm, I'm open to it. You, do you want a private party, something or what? I mean, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, we could talk. I mean, like, if you, uh, you know, got the the schedule in the back or something like that, we can we can run the books and, um, you know, like cut a deal or something. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm I'm open to that. Uh, he looks to you, Phoenix. Hey, uh, uh, hit me up. Open to a date night, but business calls. I gotta make those eddies. <laughs> All right, sweetie. I I still got your number, little meatball. I go boop to his little face, <laughs> and I just kind of look over at Emma like. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes back. He takes you back into his office, Looper, uh, which is really just a a nice way to put uh, a closet with a desk in it. Um, there's even like a mop bucket in the corner and like an old drone that needs repair. Like you can tell he's kind of multi-purposing the only other room that's not the bathroom in this whole uh, place. Um, but you know, it's his office nonetheless. He busts out uh, some big holographic notebook thing and you can tell it's a mess. All his charts are coming up. The hologram's flickering in and out. He kind of like bangs it. He's like, ah, it's just old tech, you know. And then he starts pulling it up and just going over the schedule, trying to work out pricing and stuff for you to be able to rent out the place for a night. Uh, for a potential private party, um, but still playing on that great persuasion and, and the confusion and the added uh, uh, bonus and stuff like you know he's he's going with it. You're able to distract him at Phoenix as you make your way to the front. Um, as Looper disappears into the office with your meatball, uh, you see Emma and Anchor over at the front. Emma's kind of messing with the system, and just a few moments later, she's like, "I'm out." Um, I had to deal with some black ice. That took a little bit of damage, uh, but I fucked that thing up. I'm pretty excited about it. I, I usually don't battle so much in the net runs, but like she's going on telling you about it, Phoenix. Like she's kind of excited about what she just did. I'm still acting like I don't know her, but I'm looking at her like she's a crazy person, and I just go come on, and just start walking out the door. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. And she just kind of like tries to like act like she's like just not as stealthy as you. You can tell, you know, Anchor and Emma, they're here. They're they're helping Cynthia. They're the minions, but they're not edge runners. You know, yeah. uh, but they're playing. They get by. Uh, luckily for Looper and you, distracting the manager. People are busy. Everything that goes down, they're able to get out with you. Just walking out like nothing happened. Uh, as you come out into the street, you see uh, Kira's bus kind of coming down the street. You can hear sirens in the distance. You see lights from the police drone. Some L uh, uh, LAPD a block and a half down where you were parked. Um, but the bus comes up, and you see commotion down there. Uh, and Kira, Wolf, Cynthia, you see Phoenix kind of stepping out of the place uh, with Anchor and Emma. All of you can just take it from here. Yeah. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here, please. Uh, we got a little bit of a wanderer that went back in the office. We gotta wait for his ass. <laughs> I swear to God, if you say Looper, I'm going to freak out. <laughs> Who's missing? <laughs> I'm a heavenly star. I can't keep control of him. But at least he got a little distracted off of me. Cause that that man's probably going to be the reason why I have an aneurysm and die at 40. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just say this. Are we hushing onto the bus? I see it driving by. What's going on? Yeah, the usual. <laughs> Dude, since the office is so small, I mean, I imagine Looper's probably just standing in the doorway. So yeah. he's probably like, like peeking back out. And then like, once he sees them, like starting to wander away, be like, oh, actually, you know what? Um, 
I don't know if this place is really going to be what we need. Um, I'll just have to actually hit you up. Uh, you know, getting getting cold feet about this. So, uh, but hey, man, it was great, great, great seeing you again. And uh, I, I actually uh, just remembered I had somewhere else to be. Uh, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll give you a call and uh, we could set this up. Uh, well, my people call your people or, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, don't get cold feet. I'll discount you a little. Uh, you know, it's the first time renting out. Uh, I'll hook it up like half price of what I'm saying. I'll give you an extra date for free if you want to do like a, a holiday thing. Uh, come on, let's let's steal the deal here. Where are you yeah. going? What's up? Okay, all right, yeah, yeah, we could steal the deal. I mean, I mean I'm not the, the bookkeeper here, you know, so I mean, I'm going to have to have my accountant you know get a hold of you but uh no that uh, does sound great actually uh you know i don't want to get cold feet on you i mean we go back uh, so like uh but uh you know definitely definitely will you know my people will be calling your people and it'll uh you know it'll things will happen all right all right, uh, all right. All right. and then you just like <laughs> looper's just like the whole time he's talking is just slowly backing away and then just like <laughs> turns and then just briskly walks out like oh good gotta go gotta go gotta go yeah you see him turn back around his hologram charts and like knocks him over some of them flicker out. he's like yeah it's just this fucking old tech makes me look like shit. I know that's that's what did it. Uh, fuck. Uh, as you just kind of sneak out, uh, and yeah, you head out to the front as you see uh, Phoenix and uh, Emma and Anchor just hopping into the bus, kind of talking with Cynthia and Kira a little bit, and, and Wolf, and you make your way out through the crowd and out uh, and into the bus. Uh, now all of you are on the bus, uh, Kira. Yeah, there's some honking horns behind you as some cars are kind of backing up a little bit. Yeah, once I mean, as pe once everyone gets on the bus, she starts driving, and then she just looks, she glances back um, at at Cynthia and goes, "Sorry," keeps on driving. Appreciate it. What, what was what was that? No, it's a long story. We'll tell you about it later. Well, I heard a lot of pop pity pop in my ear while that guy was chippity chapping. What you guys do? Did you guys leave something behind? You know well, what? Technically, yes. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, Anchor said that they were trying to steal the bus or get into it, break into it. Yes. Well, I don't think they're going to be doing that again, are they? No, probably not. <laughs> I don't like the way you said that. <laughs> Well, whatever you guys take care of, there were no any cameras anywhere. Did you guys check the yeah. cameras? <laughs> Did you guys? Y'all didn't, didn't check for cameras? Listen, Emma okay. Speak, Emma uh, speaks we... up. What was that, Cynthia? Oh, no, no, go ahead. No, I was saying Emma speaks up and like, oh, I, I, I fixed the cameras at the shop too. Like, I took us all out of that. I fucked up the black ice. I took us out of the camera footage. I made that loop look like we were never there. And then I dropped the best cloak DV that I've ever had in my life. Like, no one's going to know I was there. Like, she's, you can tell she's really excited about what she just oh, did. Yeah, Emma. Kick ass. Yay, Emma. But I did now, did not... anybody take care of the road to the street where you guys popped? Whatever you guys did? Well, you're you're a mute. <laughs> we didn't do anything. Mm. Um, we're we're good. Does that does that mean that we're gonna have problems later? Uh, Not me. Fingers, I don't think anybody will miss them. I'm gonna be honest well, with you, Looper. That's it's a future us problem. I'd really rather not talk about it right now. Ooh. Uh, Kira is just mute. She is. Just focus on driving. Yeah, a weird tone. A weird tone just hit the atmosphere of this bus. <laughs> Where's the cocktails again? <laughs> it's under that cabinet. I'll I'll take one of those. <laughs> <laughs> we need to celebrate Emma's win <laughs> and change the mood. Yeah, me one Emma. Too. Yeah, I need a cigarette, bad. <laughs> yeah, so I got I got the files. Um, it looks like it's just some employee maintenance list for the brain dance machines. Um, it looks like that guy Jake is like manager, owner, employee. He's literally there all the time. Um, other than the maintenance, other than that, um, I've got uh, all the camera footage for the past couple months. Uh, looks like about three, yeah, three and a half months worth. He never cleans it up. Um, that's all that was in there. What do you guys want me to do? Well, I mean, whoever sent that blackmail message, it came from here. So, I mean, unless it's dumb fuck in there, meatball. Um, 
which I doubt he do doesn't have the, the, I don't think, the kind of prowess for that. But, uh, I mean, it'd be worth, you know, us uh, having to comb through fucking three months of footage. Um, we just got to narrow down to the date when it was email. True. Um, I, mean, I'm, I mean, unless it got really complicated with it and, you know, set it up to be sent on a timer when they weren't in there. Oh, Lord. Uh, you can postpone messages, so, uh, well, I would say, like, yeah, let's start with the, that date. Um, we're gonna have to get that, the date he received it from. Uh, since, if you wanna ask your uncle if he can give us a more exact date. Yeah, I can do that. I can reach out to him. I mean, there's probably time receipts on them, so. Other than that, why don't you get some food? Yeah, I'm starving. Nice. Yeah, we're, uh, um, yeah, and you have the information from, uh, your uncle, Uncle Lucia, that, uh, you know, he gave you access to the email. That's the way Emma was able to kind of hack that and see that, um, it came from the pool, this, this, uh, data pool cafe. Um, it also right, has brain right. dances and things, but, um, and she was also able to see that, yeah, it goes to some over overseas account, um, but can't hack it. It's absolutely encrypted way above her thing, hence the overseas account. Um, anonymity, right? But uh, but yeah, you can see that these emails came in. Um, I think we determined um, this blackmail stuff has only been going on the past week uh, or the past two, uh, and it was like uh, every Friday or something like that. It's on a set schedule. Um, it seems like when he, when it gets sent in uh, for him to uh, send in the money. Um, so yeah, you could absolutely look on those Fridays at at about the time that the email came in, or before, or after, or you know what exactly do you want to look at? You have you have those times and info. What do you want to do with it? Um, I would like to see the time it was received, or if possible, see the time it was sent from his emails, so we can get a good i good instead of doing a full twelve hour span of when the place is open to try and kind of narrow it down. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Uh, and then while you're kind of digging into that with Emma. And Looper and stuff. Where, where is Kira going? You're you're in the bus right now. Where are you headed? Right now, she's just kind of driving. Just cruising around, killing time um, while they work on the, the files. Yeah, until until somebody tells me something else, she's just driving. <laughs> and she, you see her breathing. Fi finally, calming down a little bit. <laughs> yeah, she's trying to calm herself down. She's still aggravated. Maybe. Yeah, she's trying to calm herself down, and she's just feeling the bus and the relaxing of being on the road, and even if it is on the city street. Maybe, maybe the team catches a couple faint whispers under Kira's breath, uh, talking to the bus, saying, "It's okay now. You're okay now. You know." <laughs> like getting real personal. Uh, but yeah, while while all that's going on, Phoenix, what are you doing? You you just helping Cynthia Looper? Everybody kind of dig through files and part of the investigating yeah i'm just waiting to, to see if i need to call any fixer once we get to that little point just yeah them. yeah don't forget yeah as a fixture you have your little hookups and connections and just because you're in la uh doesn't mean that those don't carry over a lot of the same businesses brands and hookups do travel they uh have uh businesses in multiple cities as well as if it's something outside of your reach because of being in la we can always do a luck check and see if you're lucky enough to have that connection here or the equivalent um, so yeah, definitely keep that in mind. That's what a fixer does. They they fix things. They connect connect dots and network and pull favors. Um, but yeah, Wolf, what's Wolf doing while this is going down? I noticed you hit that perception check. What's up? I was just you know, you know trying to think back and see if we saw any cameras around where we were at. That really just you know I kind I kind of think I'm slipping because I was like I should have thought about that. <laughs> yeah. A perception of 25 um, yeah you can't see any from here um, but give me a give me a concentration check concentration okay. yeah I like to use concentration or just a raw intelligence check for memory um, but that's a great perception if the memory is good I'll give you the, the factual information about that Nice, basic enough. Yeah, it's coming back to you, and you're almost kicking yourself in the ass. Like, you absolutely saw a city cam, uh, like, a, almost on every corner of L.A., just, like, almost like Night City, anywhere outside of a combat zone. Like, holy shit, yeah, you do remember seeing one right there. Oh, crap. Kira, Kira, we need to go back. We need to go back. 
Uh, Wolfie, what's the matter? We got, we, there were cameras around us when uh, you took, uh, blew that head, guy's head off. I mean, I know he's a gangbanger, but, you know, uh, we might just pull up alongside and maybe Emma can. Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, no shit, there was a camera? Yes. Oh, Lordy, and that big ass bus is, was right there. Maybe we could do something like a drive by. Do I think the bus was blocking us uh, where we were at? Because we were right beside the bus. Do we think uh, yeah. the bus was blocking the camera? No, because the camera you remember seeing was on your block side. So the camera's on the building in between the sidewalk and where the bus is parked. Um, that's the one that comes to mind. Uh, Y'all want to circle back around, see if Emma can hack the cams? You gotta do something. We don't have, we don't want anybody on our ass well, on your asses. Especially you left the body. Well if you're going down now, maybe there's gonna be Poco there. Well they were a couple of blocks away, but you know, hey. Yeah, but Phoenix, we all just got on the bus. So I mean we're we implicated in this. Yeah, we, too. we we probably should go back and try to get that footage back. But the police were already on the way up there, so what's to say we're not we gonna take the footage? Uh maybe not. <laughs> Then again, we might have... a random gang banger and a local gang that likes to cause havoc, they might have not even double checked it. Like, oh, probably got what he got. Yeah, I just don't want, to want our faces out there too too much. I mean, we could circle around, be a block over or something, and then maybe, maybe uh, like someone that wasn't out there, like him and Phoenix, can walk uh, walk up there and uh, see if she can get close enough to check the cams. Here it takes a couple turns on the next next opportunity. Yeah, you can circle back around. In a, you know, at least toward, back towards it. Well, at least we were able to confirm murder runs in the family. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. We're like, more like a hot heads. Yeah, I mean, you like that. <laughs> and I'm supposedly the problem child here? Listen, I did not blow up half of us because you wanted to rush in and be big macho man of a day. I don't know, man. That, that was like years ago. That was literally like three weeks two days ago. ago. That was like two days ago. <laughs> I know, in game time, that was like a week ago, you know, it wasn't really... <laughs> <laughs> Not that long ago, man. <laughs> that was like a long time ago. <laughs> I still get ringing in my ears from it. They can still faintly smell the smoke. Uh... Yeah. I'm gonna have... Every time I go to the fireworks now, I'm gonna have a little bit of PTSD because of that. True. <laughs> but yeah, Carrie, you're able to circle back around, you know, cut cut a few blocks. Um, now you know, like, you know, one more block up, you'll be at that corner where you were. Um, or you can park here and walk. It's up to you all, but you're, you're circling back around. But as you're circling around and you think about that decision, um, Emma speaks up and says, yeah, I was able to, uh, uh, you know, take those two different dates um, that you gave me uh, and grab the footage, you know, at least like that day's worth of footage, like around the time that that email was sent. Um, on both of those days, like I, I don't know, I have I have the, those two sets of footage for you. What do you What do you want to do? Perfect. I'll review it later. Let's worry about this right now. Okay. Um. Yeah, hold that thought, Emma. We're gonna need your little brain for something else, cause Wolfie and and the three musketeers over here got themselves. In the three musketeers. Yeah, I, I mean, I can I can busy myself with the with the footage. This is uh, your guys' mess. Please clean it up. <laughs> yeah, so what do you want to do? Uh, you're about a block away from that corner. Can't see it from here because you know, you're coming around the side of it, um, directly up where you were parked. You would come up to where that block tees, and directly to the right there across the street is kind of where you were parked because uh, you circled way back around. Do you want to park and walk or drive up to that corner? What do you guys feel? Uh, I would. I would probably I think we walk it. stop a little bit, a little walk bit away. So we don't want to. We don't want that thing up there attracting police. <laughs> I agree, yeah. I think we should we should try to hide the bus as best we can and walk the rest of the way. At least keep it out the sight, out of main sight. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, you park it, uh, you know, you find some parking over here um, and walk your way up. Uh, busy streets, traffic, you're in the same downtown as I described earlier. Um, lots of neon signs, pollution, people coming and going, scabbers, the occasional booster ganger, but people are kind of doing their own thing. Um, as you get up to that corner, uh, you can see across the street, um, those couple of beat cops 
are kind of like messing with the body that's on the ground, that booster uh, ganger guy. Um, and they're messing with that. And you can see that that drone is hovering um, into the, the uh, side of the building, um, kind of where that cam is. And it looks like it's uh, jacked into it, like it's plugged into it. Um, and you don't really have to do a deduction uh, for me to explain that if there's not a net runner uh, on the police team or the squad or the patrol team that's uh, in any one of these cities um, that can access security cams or grab that footage that they might need for their report, um, usually their little security drone, their police drone, will just do a direct plug-in, pull the, the camera footage onto its uh, little card in the system, and, uh, and then jack out. So you, that's what you see. You see that drone kind of hovering. Uh, jacks in, comes back, and is hovering back where the two B cops are. Uh, you can assume it just pulled that footage out. Um, but the cops are looking at the body, messing around still. They're talking to each other. Um, looks like they might be filling out some type of report because one of them has some holographic iPad-looking thing filling it out. Um, that's what you see as you're approaching the corner. Well, Kara, what do you want to do? Well, we can go quiet or we can go loud. I don't recommend loud. Emma, what's the uh, what's the possibility of you be able to get into that drone and fry it out? Uh, like really easy. It's probably uh, I mean, well, if it's with them, they probably have some type of portable system set up or whatever. Um, a lot of the police forces will get the custom tech shit like that for their drones. Um, but yeah, uh, I, if I if we get the drone, I can probably just do a, a hard jacket and instantly fry it, get the footage, whatever. But um, but if that drone gets back to the station, like, yeah, we're, there's nothing I can do. They'll probably pull it out and... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we need to capture the drone first. First? Then what? What are we saying? Okay, we're not gonna, we're not gonna be, uh, shooting cops, okay? No, that's, I wasn't yeah. saying, that's what that's I was saying. We'd rather be quiet than loud. <laughs> I don't want to be shooting cops. Not dig ourselves in deeper here. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we already shot cops hey. before. I don't want to do that again. Well, you know, we could just walk up and say, hey, these guys attacked us. You know, you can say, look at the footage. We were defending ourselves. It was self-defense. It literally was self-defense. They shot the two of us. Literally, he shot the two of us. You're also not considering my social status in this city. Me That's and Kira were... Me and Kira are the ones that, that uh, hit the guy. Not, not you. I hit him, I hit him too. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, she did. Point blank and adjust. The two of y'all hit him, and then I... She finished him off. Yeah, she did. But um, but there is a little bit of truth to what Wolf is saying. And, and if you're familiar, you know, during the time of Red and the judicial system, kind of how they hold down law and rules and stuff, whether in Night City or, you know, I'll carry over to L.A. and other kind of, um, I, I don't know, more country-established uh, cities since NC is kind of like that international waters of cities, you know. Um, it's still like that though like there is self-defense and they do kind of call it on the street like you know you can get away with with murders uh, to a certain degree you know like if it is something like that like it does kind of make sense so you can you can somewhat assume like it, it if, if the cops are cool um, if that's what the footage might show um, if your gift of gab you know social role ends up right you know uh, it could very easily just be a sort of like, yeah, obvious self-defense and we kill these guys, you know, brush the paperwork off, they're just booster gangers. However, you also know, not everything goes smooth. You might have a really bad role, um, even with the legalities, and then they might, you know, you might have to do some paperwork, they might try to make an example. You never know what a certain circumstance might be, and like Cynthia said, uh, with her uncle uh, in town and what's going on, you want to be low-key, but, um, but also like if that footage goes down, it could become even less low-key. Uh, yeah, you're, it's definitely a sticky situation, but I could debate it both ways based on what Wolf said and, and what Cynthia said, so I'll leave that up to you. Good luck with your decision. Uh, <laughs> we could... All right, yeah, let's not start any ultraviolence with cops. We we all know. I think we're all no, saying that's there. the first rodeo, but Let, I will say I don't we, want to do that rodeo again. We Thank could... You. I mean... Maybe. We, we could just, you know, grease their palms a little bit, and maybe that footage gets lost. I think we should get close enough with all of us and have uh, let uh, Emma see if she can lose the footage for them. And while we talk to them, we can go ahead and just say, you know, you know, hey, these guys attacked us, you know, and I tried to tell them uh, to run away, but they came at us and shot well, us. That, well, that and drone is shows that. Yeah, but that that drone is being controlled either by 
I mean, I, I don't think that they have any net runners over there, but I mean, it, did that probably mean that there is some sort of demon or something in that in that system? So I mean, the moment she jacks in, could set off an alarm. Yeah, uh, I'm kind of worried about that as well. I'm thinking uh, maybe we could no offer way. them a little bit of money. Like this is official equipment. I wouldn't think I wouldn't think they would be letting it float around without any so type of security software on it. Why don't we first just talk to them? And yeah. then if you seem reluctant with our, our explanation, then maybe Looper, you could, um, or maybe Phoenix, being a better person for this, could walk up and offer them some lo uh, lovely cash. Well, I was <laughs> just saying, does good Phoenix it. know any of those beat cops in LA or tax through being a fixer? Um, yeah, in fact, uh, that could. Give me one second. Uh... Kira does not seem to be very uh, liking the idea of approaching the cops directly. At least, not her. Yeah, understandable. Um, to her past or with corrupt cops. Uh, what what rank are you now, Phoenix? Uh, five. Yeah, I think you are five. Um, so yeah, you should be able to. Uh, give me one second. Five. Yeah, major major city p player, city political, neighborhood celebrity, minor. Uh, um, yeah, we'll say uh, major city player, city political. Um, what's your luck stat? Uh, my luck is four. Four. Um, and I'll give you a, a one on that because of your previous campaigns. Uh, your previous campaign, uh, what was a popo no no, because um, you've got you you did hook up the police chief repin of uh, Night City. Um, I imagine you know they would talk to other police chiefs, other cities, and you know, there'd be at least some type of possible connection there. So give me a one d ten, and let's. He hope... does owe a favor too. What was that? He does owe. He does owe us a favor. You know if they want to push anything. Exactly. Um, so let's do, yes, actually, that's, smart, that's a smart thing there. You have a couple angles there. Uh, so give me the, oh, and you have a plus two there. Um, yeah, give me give me a 1d10 and let me know if it's under your luck stat. It needs to be five or less. It's five. Lucky. Um, yeah, you're able to, uh, you know, kind of pull, pull a favor from Chief Reppin. Um, you're able to think of that, uh, and you hit up Chief Reppin, and uh, and he gives you a contact number. Um, he says, "Yeah, there's a uh, there's a precinct in L.A. Uh, precinct number three. Um, and if you uh, call Chief Tyson over there, um, or rather Commander Tyson, um, you can uh, hit him up. Let him know that Chief Reppin uh, said to take care of you. And uh, yeah, whatever sticky situation, like you know, you can only kind of pull this once." Uh, Phoenix, like I owe all of you, but this is like a, a different city. I don't want to fuck up Chief Reppin's rep, so to speak. <laughs> um, so, you know, one favor there, uh, you know, hit him up, uh, hit up Commander Tyson, let him know Chief Reppin said, uh, you know, that uh, you guys get whatever you need to help uh, cover you up, clean up whatever you need in L.A. And, um, yeah, you get a favor out of him. So I'm have, the one that has to call, right? Yeah, you have to call Commander Tyson. He gives you the number uh, for Precinct uh, Precinct 3 in L.A. Do we want to talk to him first and see if um, see how it goes and maybe we don't have to pull that favor? Yeah, I'm thinking that maybe we should go talk to him to see where they're landing. Hey, maybe maybe we're doing a story on uh, on some things that went down here and uh, we, we could really use that footage for our our story and I mean these are just some simple you know boosters maybe they don't even want to fill out this report you know mm -hmm. hey maybe they even heard, maybe they heard of the work we did up in uh, NC so Jerry if you are, if you're uncomfortable just stay back here in the alley and you know you have, from here you can keep an eye on the bus to make sure no one else tries to do what they did earlier 
Let's, let's she's just looking over the outside of the bus and making sure they didn't scratch the paint. <laughs> so let me get this correctly. We're gonna go chit chat with these folks, talking to a dead body. Yes. Oh? Yeah. yeah. To distract them for Emma can get into no, we're their. Gonna, we're gonna go tell them. We're gonna say, hey, you know, you know what happened here, basically, and then just like you know, it's like yeah, these guys uh, attacked us. We told them to walk away. They tried to shoot us, uh, and this guy ended up dead. We told the uh, you guys don't need me then. You guys, all three, of you guys, gentlemen. We don't, we don't need to confess just yet. Here, I mean, they don't even know it's us. If they know it's us, then what's to stop them from bringing us down to the uh, station? Hey, all they have to do is look at the the um, footage to to know it's us. And you know that they have the footage in the drone right now, but neither one of them are net runners to be able to look at it or do anything. Otherwise, they would have got in there and checked it out themselves. They just had the drone grab the footage. So as after they do their reports, you know, they can take it down to the precinct or whatever. You know, the typical procedure or whatever. Why don't you just bump into him and not try to get that drone knocked down and step on it? Just go over there being that, nosy. Try to get the drone like knocked down gonna result in some anger and gun. Don't put my sure. face anywhere near that. <laughs> and let, me, let me remind Phoenix too. It's not like a typical little drone that drone that like we would go know, fil awesome. filming with. Oh yeah, it's a big you know security drone that they have that the police the police beat cops in L.A. have. Um, you know, it's this big hovering sort of almost boxed off thing. You can see some sort of little little sort sort of little mini turret at the bottom. Um, some bubble cam sort of uh, spider eye looking thing at the top. Like uh, it's. It's pretty creepy. It's all black. Uh, looks like it's pretty tough. Mm. Yeah, I'm with Wolf on this one. Let's go talk to them. Yeah, we don't want um, this drug out uh, because, you know, Cynthia, you know, she could be known. Well, Phoenix is going to sit back, and if anything happens, I'll give a call to our little... Uh, I like it. You guys want to go walk up there and be in all... Now, you guys cause us trouble. Let's walk up there. Let's walk up there. I'm gonna sit back with them and we're gonna wash this with some popcorn. Make sure our face is not getting more on camera. Yeah, yeah, Looper exits the bus and starts and he's just like, alright, let's that it. Okay. We walk mm -hmm. on over there. Yeah, you Boys walk on. Yeah, they're messing with the uh, the body ones, kind of like doing some type of report. Um, you can tell the drone's just kind of hovering next to them. As you walk up and say, boys on blue, uh, they just they both like look over to all of you approaching as the drone kind of like hovers and swivels behind them, now facing towards you as well. Uh, excuse me, can we help you? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. You know what happened here? Uh, what's that? Do you know what happened here? Uh, yeah, do you know what happened here? Well, absolutely, yeah. Um, yeah, give me a conversation check, Wolf. Conversation. Because Wolf's really good at that. <laughs> use some plus twos. I might use one of those plus twos, yeah. Use, use it. One of plus That's concentration, dude, not conversation. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I should get my mouth shut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Need a couple of plus twos. <laughs> All of them. Oh man. Um. Can't. <laughs> yeah, that it, it wouldn't be enough. Uh, but yeah, you say that, uh, and the guy looks at him, at his uh, partner, uh, and says, "Oh, uh, you know what's going on? Why don't you uh, come come down and answer a few things on a report for us?" Uh, and he kind of like steps up and puts his arm on your oh. Uh, shoulder. Well. Oh, oh, you yeah, you don't. Need, I mean. He's just a he's just the the hired muscle to you know help us. We're actually an investigative uh, journalist crew. We're uh, trying to you know do a little uh, investigation on you know some of the, this kind of gang violence that's been going on and you know whatnot. So um, actually, I couldn't help but notice uh, your drone already got the footage. We could really use that for our investigation and you know maybe uh, maybe you know this, this is a low level booster. I mean, is that really going to be worth you spending the rest of the day and night doing paperwork? Right, give me a persuasion, Lupa. Uh, I'm gonna also use one of the, the plus two. <laughs> hey, stink palm! Another plus two there. In oh, chat. sweet. Thanks, stinky. Appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> I always gotta fuck with his name. The stinkiest of palms. And and you know what? Uh, I'm actually gonna use uh, three points of luck as well. Hey, another plus two. 
my god. Uh, oh, minus two. Oh. Yeah. Uh, minus two for uh, stat checks where the lower number is better is what PWB was uh, saying. So that actually helps you if you have to do an uh, intelligence yeah. or luck check, uh, which is pretty good because Phoenix might have to do a luck check uh, for connection stuff. Um, and, you know, I always do some stat checks once in a while, like intelligence for memory if you don't do concentration. Uh, but, yeah, you Ooh, say that, yeah. Looper, um, and the, the beat one cop uh, kind of, like, steps up that's doing the report and, like, oh, uh, yeah, who, who are you reporting with? This, uh, okay, uh, I mean, yeah, uh, it's a, just a boost for a gang. I mean, we, I can't really access uh, the footage uh, myself, but and then the other guy that has his arm on Wolf um, just kind of, like, looks at him and... Uh, we got shit to do. Uh, let's just. This guy says he saw. Let's just take him in for the report and uh, get this handled and stuff. And then the other guy uh, that you were talking to, Looper, um, kind of like knocks his hand off of Wolf and like, really? You want to do a bunch of reports for some fucking booster ganger? Like, I'm, I'm with this guy and points at you, Looper. Uh, yeah, we're more happy to clear up anything that you guys may need. But we're currently. My name's Cynthia. We're with uh, Veritas Media. Okay. Uh, uh, but yeah, I mean, we could we could really do with that that footage that that you got. I mean, you know, maybe you help us out, we help you out. Um, basically, I'm going for a bribery, like. Yeah, uh, I mean, you've persuaded him already. Oh, okay. uh, so he's just oh, okay. like he's like yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, like I said, I can't access it. Like it's it's already been dropped uh, to our little buddy here. Uh, but we're going down to precinct uh, right now. Um, yeah, dump dump the it. footage. I could dump the footage at the at the precinct. Oh. Um, and then the other guy's like, "Yeah, well, if we're taking it in, then we'll just do the fucking report. We'll have this guy fill out what he saw and like let's just wrap it up." Yeah, no, nah, I mean that's just because we are we're chasing down on a lead, and that's gonna get away from us. I mean, uh, you know, we we have a net runner. She could pop the footage out for us, and then you know we uh, you know we go our separate ways, and you keep doing you know the heroic work you do, and we'll uh, you know be uh, telling stories that make you look good. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, if you've got a net runner, um, okay. With your uh, permission, of course. No, that's, like, I'm up. That's fine. You want to grab a copy and uh, save us some fucking time, dude. Do a story and like fuck this. Uh, and the other cop, but you can tell they're kind of arguing. One wants to do the report, wants to have Wolf fill it out, but the guy you've persuaded, he doesn't want to waste the time. He agrees like it's just a fucking booster ganger. Like, just grab the footage. Uh, you know, put it out if you want to. Uh, Put it out like we were a hero and stuff. Just don't, just, uh, you know, if you put us in it, like, make us look good. Like, we came in last minute, but there's no story on it. You're still investigating, like, uh, you know, because I really don't want to have to fill out a report and, and uh, have this thing uh, synced up to this, uh, to whatever you release online. Um, of course. Yeah, you know, the other guy's kind of apprehensive, but the one cop is absolutely persuaded. Uh, but yeah, Emma's there. You can leave them out, right, Looper? You don't have to put their names in or something. Just oh, say, no, no. The boys in blue from L.A. I mean, That's some... we can talk to Chief Reppin back home. You know, you know he's a... Uh, he likes uh, these guys. He likes hearing the, the stories. We can leave their names out, right? Well, yeah, I mean, we could always just say some, you know, heroic LAPD, uh, you know, heroes were on scene and they just... Um, and, you know, they were able to... Uh, there wasn't really any, there wasn't really much to go on here, but you know. Uh, no, I like that. Uh, in fact, two. in fact, can you put in that report? Uh, 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 Officer Diego uh, put out uh, this guy here, and um, uh, I I'm the one that popped this guy. I took out the baddie. All right. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, he, you did. The other guy chimes in. He's like, uh, "Yeah, you think they're gonna check on the ammo? I mean, it, it's caseless, but they got the numbers. They're not gonna know." And the guy instantly just like pulls out his gun, pop, pop, shoots the dead body. Um, right in the head, kind of where it's like missing parts. Just took some sharp, puts it back there. I did it. <laughs> Give me the credit. Uh, I, I like that. Uh, oh wow. yeah, Officer Diego. Oh, Diego. Um, but yeah, you you're it. able to. You're able to uh, do that. Emma comes up. Um, the police uh, allows her great, great perception or persuasion. Um, allows her just to come in, get a copy of the footage. Um, she's able to get in there. Um, Emma uh, kind of like uh, gives you the look like she's not just grabbing the footage. Um, she's obviously trying to uh, take the footage, not, not just copying it, I should say. Uh, she's trying to, trying to take the only copy of that footage. Um, but she, she does it. She's successfully able to do it. These guys are not net runners. They can't tell what's going on. Um, but she takes it. She does it. It's done. Um, and the other cop just kind of apprehensive. Oh, whatever. Fuck it. I guess 
no reports let's just get on he starts walking already the drone kind of follows him as the other cop that you persuaded sticks around a little bit uh looks at you cynthia okay uh so what what was it veritas or, or you have a contact yes. for that or what when's when's this going to come out oh um within i don't know but you're the one who does most of the writing can you give me huh. a neck uh, probably, yeah, you'll probably see it out within, uh, you know, week two tops. Okay, all right. Uh, yeah, if you put it on the garden, look, here's my page. He takes out his card, starts writing down, like, details, and he's like, yeah, tag me here. Um, if you tag me here, share it. I'll share it. Um, don't forget, label me as Hero. Uh, and he starts writing his Got name, uh, Mr. Diego Cesar. Okay, here, yeah, he gives you the card. Uh, thanks, Thank man. Uh, yeah, absolutely. You are in... Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and enjoy the rest of your day not doing reports right <laughs> yeah have a good night sir. Uh, he walks up kind of like scurries up uh to his his partner and the, the drone there and i like how um what was it cold spider says no one got vid of the cop shooting the dead body and that would have been a good opportunity to loop or some future blackmail shit or something i don't know <laughs> yeah but no, yeah, a great persuasion. Uh, got a little bit sticky there. Um, he was apprehensive over the wolf thing. Didn't really buy what he was saying, but then kind of uh, just said, fuck it, lean into it. You know, the guy was about to try to drag him into the precinct to f help fill out a report as a key witness, which then they would have been able to dump the footage, as you all know. Um, so that was some quick thinking. Looper stepped in, grabbing Emma, um, just kind of working those angles, and Cynthia, too, uh, uh, playing into the ego of the cop a bit there. Uh, that was great. Uh, you got it. And uh, as they leave, Emma says, like, yeah, I, I uh, just had a habit. I was about to copy that footage. And then it just, like, dawned on me. Like, I need to just, like, delete it or grab the only copy. So, like, I don't know, whatever. I was going to delete it. But then I said, fuck it. I went ahead and cut it out of there. Um, so, like, we have the only copy. But at least I have a copy of it if you ever need it. Yeah, you never know when something like that might come in handy. Cynthia, Emma, you deserve some... You deserve some PTO, in my opinion. I was gonna say she needs a bonus. I mean, she's I was been... actually gonna—I was gonna discuss that later, but you guys gonna blow up my spot, but you know. Hey, hey sorry, sorry. She's been it tonight. She's a really, you know. She's been killing it today. She's been killing it always. She deserves a bonus. Yes, yeah. And she yep. feels wants to take it. She can have all of it. Great work, Emma. Yeah, yeah she's all excited. Uh, heads back to the bus. Uh, starts telling Anchor what she did and starts kind of bragging about it. She's kind of excited. Yeah, what's the team doing? Gets, Liver, you really need to actually write that story. Towards the bus, you hear. <laughs> and he crumples up the card that Diego gave him. He's like, nah. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> you can't be needed a bus. police in LA. We got a new cop to have. got me. It literally yeah, might be. It. It, it might be. You can use it. It, it might be what? Go ahead. What'd you say, Wolf? I said it might be a good PR thing. I mean, you might you might want to really do that. And what was that? Yes. Thing? I said, you never want to lose a contact in L.A. with a no. deep cop, and then we got Meatball making connections. Don't think we're going to throw away. The police use the <laughs> they kind of buffer a bit between big stories. So mm -hmm. He does pick up the crumpled card, and he's like, yeah, you're right. All right, give me a yeah, one, give me a 1D10 real quick, Looper. Let me know if it's under your luck stat. Uh, 1D10. It is. Yeah, when you go go to pick up the wadded up uh, card, uh, you were lucky enough to see that it landed about one inch away from a questionable puddle of some liquid. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> you were lucky. Oh, it's L.A. Val, you can vouch. We live here, and that's yeah. now. Um, um, imagine it. Imagine in the dark future how fucked up it would be downtown L.A. Val. Oh my god. Oh, oh god. All right. Well, yeah, you got that. You got the contact. That was kind of good thinking. Uh, like Phoenix said, you know, I was like a fixer, like making connections. Um, like Wolf said, like uh, that's good PR. Like it is kind of good thinking. You know, you don't need it, but I don't know. It, it might could come into play. Like like Phoenix said, uh, that's a fixer's thing is racking up connections and networking and stuff. That I don't know. That that could be something. Uh, so that's kind of cool. That was a good. That was good thinking. I like that. And he's a beat cop. But yeah, you were able to pick that up and get back into the bus and kind of gather your thoughts now. Um, what is everybody doing? It is getting a bit late now, uh, a, a little bit uh, uh, late in the night, because remember you did the early evening dinner. Uh, then you went back to the office to kind of talk to the uncle and, and go through uh, the email, the tracking of the pool, all the other stuff that you kind of recap. Um, the night shift was coming in the office. The uncle was going to call it the night. He kind of does the day or whatever, but it was night. 
Um, so you could uh, kind of make a plan uh, to recap and go over the next steps or next plans and maybe go uh, back to the hotel, the restaurant, get some rest for the night to start fresh next day. Or, uh, you know, it's fucking cyberpunk. Uh, you guys do missions and gigs through the night and stuff. Uh, it's not like you have to go home and, and call it a bedtime at 10 p.m. or whatever. You can stay up till 2 a.m. Daddy extended your curfew. It's okay. Daddy GM Rob Mulligan said it's okay. <laughs> no, but in all jokes aside, honestly, what does the team want to do? You're in the bus. It's late night. You're in L.A. Uh, what's the plan? I'll walk back here and go first. Go. Oh, real All quick. Sorry, sorry to interrupt, but since Cynthia just got back. Um, yeah, the team's back in the bus, uh, just kind of right. de deciding what to do next. Looper picked back up that contact card. Uh, luckily, didn't land in a questionable uh, puddle of liquid uh, like you frequently see in downtown LA. But he got the contact. You're back in the bus, deciding what to do next. It's late night. Uh, but Wolf, what were you saying? Oh, by Karen, I was like, we're good. Looper took care of it. They have some friends uh, on the force now. Let's go find some food. Aren't y'all yeah. hungry? Yes, food and, yeah, it's Milo's here. Hey. Um, oh, can we get food and some rest? I'm yeah, down to eat food. as a group. Okay. Yeah. Yes, okay, we'll sit all together this time. I'm sorry that we abandoned you last time. <laughs> Kitty. Kitty. Well, uh, the diner, uh, are we gonna go eat at a bar or what? That's yeah, like we got to go. Twenty-four hour diners. Do they have a? Is that a franchise? The like the one in um, Night City? No. You find yeah, you don't. You don't see a, a twenty-four hour diner in this area downtown. But you do have that that sort of a restaurant bar um, that's attached and next to uh, uh, the hotel complex um, where uh, Uncle Lucia puts you all up at. Um, so you could go freak with that. At least it's uh, it's familiar. It's safe. Uh, Kira can park back at the hotel, um, and you can all eat there. If that's the plan, if the plan is to kind of settle down, recap what happened, gather your thoughts, and discuss the next steps, that would be the safest place. That's kind of your home base in LA for now. Otherwise, you absolutely can go find a different cafe, restaurant, bar, things. But then that's less secure. You know what I mean? You're out in the city again. But it's up to the team. Absolutely. What was that, Phoenix? Venus was just going to suggest, can we just get food to go and then hang out in the faces everywhere oh. until we get this mission taken care of? Oh, I'm all in uh, you, you cut out there. You cut out, what did you say? Oh. I feel more safer in the RV, so can we get food to go and stay in the RV while we discuss what's going on so oh, nobody can hear our business? Honestly, that sounds a lot better. Yeah. I don't want to sit in the restaurant right now. Yeah, Carrie, I prefer okay that. Eating in here? Yeah, that's all what right. the table's for. <laughs> so let's get some grub and then just have our median here. Oh yeah, and Kira, yeah, and Kira's uh, school bus. I'll bring up the image one more time uh, for chat. I love it; it's awesome. Uh, and, and the paint job's cute from your nephew. I love that shit. But um, yeah, I'll bring that up just as a reminder too that you know Kira's a nomad and it's customized. It's absolutely you know uh, great for travel, security, for fighting, all that sort of nomad shit that this bus has been customized to do. But it's also able to live in. Like she has a you know little mini shower set up and kitchen. Like absolutely, I imagine like fold down tables, even pull out beds. Everything is multifunctional, you know? Um, so absolutely. So you can go to the restaurant. Everybody can grab some food, get it to go, just kind of go in, uh, charge it to the room. Uh, that way Uncle Lucia can, can foot the tab. Um, and then uh, head back to the bus. Uh, you can uh, pimp out in the bus uh, in the parking gr uh, lot uh, garage for the restaurant. Uh, where it's nice and secure, or you can cruise around while eating if you want, or park somewhere. What's the plan? Yeah, hey, I say we cruise around while we're eating. It's up to no, the Kira driver. Has Kira has to eat. Yeah, it's up to the driver where she wants to park her lady. Is there, is there somewhere? I mean, I, I don't know LA. Is there somewhere that we could go up, like into the hills, so we can actually see over the city and kind of park the bus? If I remember correctly, there's a couple scenic spots. Yeah, there's uh, you know, there's the famous Mahalan Drive up there uh, that cuts across the mountain edge and top. Um, kind of cuts into the more exclusive exec zone uh, living quarters, um, but that highway is open to the public, um, and it's a you know known, known tourist hot spots where there's there's even spots made to pull over, get pictures of the cityscape. On the rare occasion, there's a clear day or night through the smog, 
Um, it's very difficult. Now, but people still go up there and they do it. And absolutely, you can go up there, uh, check out the view, post up. Sure. Yeah. So, yeah, she'll start heading towards one of those scenic output spots to be able to, like, park the bus, the bus. And that way, they're away from people. They can talk and enjoy the meal. Yeah. Yeah, you find an awesome spot. Um, it's actually uh, some of the smog from the morning is kind of clearing as the late night. This is almost like the only most clear time because then you start getting close to the morning middle night where that, that morning moisture and mixture of the smog mixes and it kind of settles and hits that sun rising red that cuts through the sky and fills it. But this is almost that only time where you can kind of see the cityscape and the lights cutting through. Um, so it's nice. You're posted up. You got a nice view. There's occasional traffic coming and going, but no one's fucking with you. You can eat your meal now and discuss either, you know, what happened uh, today or current plans, what people are thinking, what, what, what you're going to do next. Um, but I'll, I'll let you all take it from here while you eat. Hey, Anchor, can you, um, you be able to inscribe something on the side barrel of my gun? Easily. He digs through his pouch and pulls out a bunch of different rivet things and he's like, what do you want? Uh, yeah, along the side here, uh, just say I want to say stupid prizes. Okay, I like that. What is you hoping people win this or what? What's it? Uh, you play stupid games. You win a win stupid, stupid prize. prize. Oh yeah, I get it. He starts engraving it in easily. Yeah, I guess that on there. While uh, they're eating, um, Kara looks over to Wolf and Cynthia again and goes again. Sorry about my uh, outburst earlier. Oh, no, that's okay. Yeah, it's absolutely okay. We get it. Trust me, there's two people in this group who gets it. We're the ones who probably get it. Yeah, we understand. It's, it's all good. What the hell is that? I just... she, she goes over to the liquor cabinet and starts looking for the good stuff and pulls out. There we go. And just pulls out five glasses and pulls, pours around for everybody. Lovely. Thank you. Uh, you see, you see, Emma and Anchor kind of look up like, um, got two, <laughs> got two more cups over there. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, she would have grabbed enough cups for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> filled up with, I mean, this would have been the high shelf. Uh, oh, that reminds me. Uh, for Emma and Anchor. oh, brain Anchor. 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 Sorry, <laughs> brain glitch. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, you named them. I would them. like to, huh? You named them. How dare I you? I know. Me? That's what makes it worse. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make sure they get paid today, and I want to give Emma a nice. bonus. Nice, awesome. How much you want to give them? Uh, and we'll say, uh, you know, one thing I, I I forgot to cover, and I have it in my notes. Usually, I'll, I'll, I'll I was gonna slide it in on the next encounter with him, but it makes sense, especially at this moment, using some funds and stuff. Um, we'll say uh, Uncle Lucia also gave you uh, 2,000 eddies um, Jeez, man. to at least, like, you know, if you need any little incidentals and stuff while in L.A., um, and he tells you, you know, if, if there's any other big expenses come up, he'll do what he can to cover it. You know, things are obviously tight right now with the funding being pulled, but, you know, he knows you're here to help. So just know you have an extra 2K uh, that Uncle Lucia gave you during the dinner. Um, I forgot to go over that, so you have that, too. Let's see. What do you think is a good amount? You know, for what she did today? I'm gonna give her like 700. Well, that that sounds good. I think it's a good yeah. good bonus. 700 and 500? That's a great bonus, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, and we, absolutely. Yeah, and great just job. yeah, and between the other teams that I've run, the other exec stuff that I've either been involved with in different teams gameplay or, or uh, since Cyberpunk Red, and even uh, uh, in other streams and things that I've read or have watched, um, yeah, I think that's a great price. I think usually, uh, you know, an exec's assistance or minions or whatever you want to call them, um, usually, you know, every campaign if they do a good job, you know, even just tipping them a few hundred bucks few hundred eddies is kind of good to maintain that loyalty but if you're putting them in sticky situations they're risking their life or you know the types of things that emma's been doing absolutely hook them up with 500 700 like that's great yeah. they're both so excited they take that money like oh my god like cynthia like they even like give you a hug and stuff and they're like putting the money away and like you know emma and them are like telling all of you like hey a anything any of you need like we're here and like you know uh, anchor even steps up like anybody else need something engraved uh like you can tell they're excited to get paid that kind of money for that. 
Well, do you guys take the rest of the night off? Why don't you guys relax? You've been busy the last couple of days. You've been working really hard. Take the night off. Drink to your heart's content. Hang out with us. Eat food with us, please. You're part of the team, too. You don't need to be <laughs> constantly having to work all the time. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah, you hear them talking about, you know, what an awesome boss you are and working for Veritas is so cool. And then they start talking about how, like, they almost, almost picked up a gig. Like, each of them talk about how they almost picked up, like, corp gigs as assistants to work their way up. And I was so shitty during the interview process and all this shit. And, like, they're just going on about how they're, they feel lucky to be here and they just love all of you. And, like, it was a great uh, loyalty booster to pay them that money and then give them the night off, drink with them food. Like, they're, they're loving it. Great loyalty. Um, but the rest of you... Uh, now that the assistants are kind of in the back having some drinks eaten, taking some time for themselves, uh, you five can discuss plans and things now. Uh, you can have, have a little bit of time while you're eating to chat. And uh, Kira busted out the, the top shelf. Uh, you can tell it's like personal nomad stash, probably uh, some some family spoils that they, they were able to find at one point. But it's it's uh, not easy to come by. You can tell it's a pre-year, a, pre, a pre-2020 date, you know, which is hard to find. And, and she left it out for anybody to refill their glass if they want. Oh, I'm Phoenix just leans back. Phoenix leans back real quick and pokes Wolfie and goes, "Ooh, you're losing your touch." Hey. Teasing him about not remembering the cameras. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can I start reviewing that footage that Emma got from those yeah. two days, those two separate days? Yeah. So it's like it's just gonna be some. It's gonna be Cynthia just kind of like hold up in the corner with the little computer set up in front of her eating and just like watching intently. Oh yeah. Yeah, that I mean she uh, she's uh she's brought up the good stuff. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pour a shot and I'm gonna get, get this uh this reminds me of friends lost. Mm. And friends that are still gone. So Ace, Ellie, mm. we remember you. Yeah. Take a shot. Set it down. Yeah, and you see Emma stand, stand up and, like, do the same thing. Like, obviously, Emma being uh, relatives uh, with Ellie and stuff. Yeah. And she says, uh, yeah, I, I, I checked in with Ellie the other night, too. Yeah, she's with family, and they're doing good. Uh, she hopes to be good. back sometime soon. Awesome. That's great to hear. Yeah, I'm glad she's doing okay. I was a little worried about her for a while. So, I know yeah, well, it's not easy. So yeah, while Cynthia is uh, going through footage, uh, and we'll, we'll absolutely do a roll on that and a check. Mm-hmm. Um, I also want to uh, let um, uh, uh, anybody else kind of discuss what they're doing. Uh, you see Cynthia kind of go and, and dig into the footage, start reviewing the, the two days worth of footage around that time when those emails were sent. Um, Kira does the cheers, Wolf or Wolf the cheers uh, with Kira's top shelf uh, for those that can't be here and such, but. Um, what's everybody else kind of discussing about plans or things or anybody anybody digging any, in anything important? Otherwise, don't feel obligated. Absolutely. Eat, drink. Next session, we'll get into it. You know, you can get some sleep at the hotel. Okay. But, yeah, exactly. But Cynthia is digging into that footage a little bit. So I am curious, is anybody else doing any work uh, while hanging out or anything else or, or chatting about plans or anything? What's going on? Uh, Looper is definitely, you know, eating his noodles out of a, you know, the carton and just standing, you know, over uh, Cynthia's shoulder, also kind of just looking at the footage, but just he's. Uh, um, I, I, would, I don't know if I can call for that, but I mean, if anybody can read it, like he seems to be a little um, uh, angry, like you know, has like a, I mean, he's covering it up for the most part, but I mean, he's a little bit pissed about the day. Yeah, give uh, do a human perception, and uh, uh, or I mean, are you trying to hide it? Yeah, he's he's not. I mean, he's trying to be like, all right, yeah, everyone have a good, you know, good time. But at the same time, like, his face is just like, Dude, what the fuck happened today? Okay, yeah. Do uh, everybody uh, give me human perception? Do I? Should I make one too? Oh yeah. A twins. Yeah, um, yeah, when uh, Looper says that, Cynthia, yeah, you get the vibe like, uh, um, yeah, Looper had a good day. You can't tell that he's aggravated at anything. You know, you're preoccupied looking at the footage. You hear him speak. You just brush it off. Um, everyone just kind of brushes it off and believes what Looper is saying. But Phoenix, you see right through that shit. Like, you can tell uh, Looper's pissed off about something or upset about something. You can tell. You're the only one that can tell. Looper, sweetie, what's going on? 
Pun? Oh, uh, nothing. I mean, just uh, we could we can get to it later. Hopefully, tomorrow is a better day. I figured today was an okay day. We did very well. And these three monkeys got into trouble, but they cleared it up. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Let's just uh, I don't know. <laughs> let's not have to deal with cops again. If we can help it and stay with you know, making sure we're vigilant about cameras and and shit like that. Um, Otherwise, I mean, we had a great... I mean, yeah, we did have a great day. You're right. Uh, we, uh, some of us got some good stuff accomplished. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As soon as it got pointed out, we corrected it. Not not trying to put blame on anybody, and it's mistakes happen. <laughs> hey, you've done mistakes yourself, Monty. Now, remember, we still got damage. Well, actually, I'm pretty fixed up. My ears are fine. Except for the occasional smelling of gunpowder. <laughs> well, right now we smell. All I smell is pigeon poo. Yeah. Uh, both both my brothers are cops, so I don't. And uh, both my brothers are kind of assholes, so don't have oh, the yeah. best time talking to police. Yeah, Wolf's sure. gonna take another shot, and then he's and put, uh, take the glass and go sit down and look out the window over the city. Uh, Wolf seems again kind of melancholy. He's um. He's thinking about he's lost a lot of people in his life, his his life, and you know this kind of reminded of it. So he's just kind of he's kind of out there in his own world right now. Mm. He's, gonna, he's gonna let them do, do all that tech stuff. <laughs> as as uh, Kira grabs it, feels her glass, and then goes over to one of the hatches that's on the roof, opens it up on the ladder. And goes up, goes up and sits on top of the roof and kind of looks out and sees her. Because if anyone wants a better view, come on up. Yeah, nice. Wolf will go. Up there. Well, Wolf will go up there. He's um, he kind of kind of wants to kind of get away from everyone. He's not in a good place right now, and a lot of things uh, have been brought up coming down here and you know, reminding him of people he's lost. He just kind of sits down, doesn't say much, and looks over the city. Yeah, same thing, Kira kind of sits down and she's just staring off. Nice. That's kind of reach over and clean glasses with you, take a shot, and sit back. Oh, yeah. uh, Cynthia, give me a perception. Are you reviewing that footage? Yes, sir. Um, I am going to give I... you. I am going to give you a negative one, uh, oh. just because of, of you know boozing. Took a couple shots, eating, yeah, you're right. hanging out. You Let's... Need a little bit of business. I was going to say use a... Uh, uh, I mean, it's only say, took one shot. She's and, not really drinking. She's observing everybody. Yeah, and I was can, standing... Oh. And I was going to say also, uh, if you wanted to use negative two since you didn't get it in prior, it's at double the cost afterwards. Don't forget, uh, okay. if you need it. Um, what were you saying, uh, Looper? I, I know L Looper and Phoenix both were speaking. What was that? Well, I, I was going to say, uh, should I give one two since I was... Because I was standing over her shoulder also looking at footage like right behind her. Uh, no, because... Uh, you were talking with Phoenix. Uh, okay. You know, she was over in the computer going over the footage. Um, you were kind of upset at, uh, uh, you know, today's activities and then kind of did the conversation with Phoenix and Wolf a okay. little bit who left. But, um, but yeah, let's let Cynthia kind of review that. And, uh, oh, nice. Okay. You got a 19. Uh, well, 18. Yeah, yeah the it mod's is, not yeah, in there. Yeah, minus one. Um, but that's awesome. You know, I was I was I, I was uh, looking for you to beat a 17 uh, to be able to see like out of uh, the the footage uh, that you have those two days around that same time. Um, it's like n nothing is standing out too much except for the fact that um, you do see uh, like the same uh, uh, person around that time uh, coming and going uh, like prior from the email being sent and after there's lots of people coming and going don't get me wrong it's a busy uh, uh data pool cafe um right in the heart of downtown la but your your great uh perception skills as you're reviewing this uh you're able to kind of pick out uh one guy in particular uh it just stands out because of what he's wearing uh, mm. you know he's got like these sort of uh uh leather trench coat sort of look um and out of place yeah, you know, he just, he looks less trendy and more uh, kind of street. 
Um, and there's other street people coming and going. But again, uh, this guy's outfit, it just stands out um, to the point where, like, you, you see that same person uh, go in prior, email sent, sent time and receive time, uh, then guy seems to leave. Mm. Okay. And so she obviously does take notice of this, opens her mouth, and then immediately pauses and closes her mouth again and just kind of, like, sits back in chair and... Maybe this is better to be talked about tomorrow. I think the team needs to rest tonight. Don't want them to get dragged into one and go on a wild goose chase. So. Yeah, and Phoenix and Looper, you hear, uh, you, you know, Phoenix, Looper, and, and Cynthia are the only ones down in the bus right now. So Phoenix and Looper, uh, you know, Cynthia mentions this. Did, did, you, did you find anything, though? I did, yeah. but we can worry about it in the morning. Well, I guess we're spending the night here because our drive is drunk. Well, yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> You're not really be going anywhere, but... Honestly, sometimes it's better to take a step back rather than having to constantly speculate about something or stressing ourselves out. It's been a long day. It's been a long trip. Let's oh, take yes. the night. You're assuming she's never driven that before. So. <laughs> what, what was that, Kara? <laughs> You're saying the driver is drunk. I said... You're assuming Kira's never driven that way before. <laughs> well, I don't know. Kira's just straight up doing donuts in a parking you're, lot while hammered. Like. Yeah, you're, you're assuming that Kira's ever been sober, I think is what you're saying. <laughs> just all I hear is the Tokyo Drift music playing. And No, that makes sense. Yeah, what, what does Phoenix and Looper say about all that? I think that was uh, I think that was beautifully put too by Cynthia, especially after Teddy's activities. But what's uh, Phoenix and Looper's response? I agree because yeah. our, our team is a little bit loopy right now, and I can use some of my beauty sleep because I'm getting a little puffy eyes. Yeah, I can feel that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's take the night yeah. and uh, get some, yeah get some R and R. And then Looper, Looper will go. Mm. Oh, no, you go first. And, sorry. I was gonna say, yeah, Looper, you know, finishes the last bite of his food and sets it down on the, on the table and just, he climbs up uh, the ladder and just. Guys, still, they got that bottle. I hand it over. <laughs> Phoenix, shall we go up? Um, I don't like the hats up there too much, but all of everybody up there, I feel like it's gonna cave in. It's too many bodies. I'm just gonna You're go ahead and it's a, it's an industrial bus. You'll be fine. Come on, uh, little little. All right, I'll go up for like a minute, but I don't want any more cocktails. How about you stay on the ladder, and if you feel too spooky, buddy, go down, back down. Okay, I can do that. Come on, go ahead up by the little mock mole. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing. Climbs up the ladder, goes to the top of the roof too. I'm picturing like a, a very scenic looking like silhouette. A picture of all of us, like from the back. Yeah, let's just go ahead and poke it out. Yeah, unless there's anything uh, <laughs> important to be said, uh, anybody digging in, in any conversations or anything. Yeah, I would love to end the session with that visual in mind. I really like the idea after you know a, a you know a, a good session where you guys were able to start it off dealing with the cliffhanger from previous. You know, get right into some combative sort of craziness. Then realizing that it's more than just that simple, like, oh shit, there was a camera, and like, this turned into a whole fucking thing, you guys worked through it, uh, got got out of it, and Phoenix, you know, didn't have to pull the favor, I think that was also a real smart move there on player side, uh, you know, not pulling that favor yet, Wolf saying, well, let's just see what we can do first, and like, I don't know, very tactful there to make up for the lack of tact for a moment when all the chaos and shit went down, but I think after all of that, uh, to go up on that scenic spot was a great decision, good, good for Kira, um, and then Cynthia, those final statements after seeing that footage. I don't know. I just really like the way that that all wrapped up. It feels real and like cinematically, I could totally see it in my mind and like up on that edge and like even looking from behind you. So you see the silhouette of all of you with the cityscape beyond that glowing with all of you kind of blacked out. And you see like the head pop up, grabbing the bottle and like, you know, nodding and drinking and, you know, fade to black, little, little outro music. And I love it. Let's end the session right there. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and we'll we'll uh, we'll continue. Uh, you know, we'll kind of wrap that where you guys go back to the hotel, get some sleep and stuff, and we'll start on the next morning of the next day when we get to the next session. 
Um, so let's just remind everybody, we plan the second Wednesday and the last Wednesday of every month. So make sure you tune in right here, same place, same time. Uh, if anything does change, we'll make sure we put it out there on all the social medias. We'll update the calendar, all that stuff. So do keep in touch. Also, make sure you follow and subscribe to CyberNation Uncensored. Uh, so you show us some love and you keep in touch with all the streams. I do want to take a moment uh, to shout out all the supporters on Patreon. Kevin Moreno, Joseph Holder, Naomi Madlass, William Huddleston, Jamie Minch, John Erfurt, Leaded Coffee, Michael Edmonds, a.k.a. Kira, Chris Anderson, Matt James, a.k.a. GM Reservoir Panda. Rumors have it. He might be coming back to the channel doing some more streaming sometime soon. Rothen, a.k.a. Renegade420, Revolver Gray, Samurai Max, Steve Barr of Sirenscape. Shout out to Sirenscape, official sponsor of Cybernation Uncensored. Also, we'll be at the Sirenscape booth, 1740 at Gen Con. Me and my, my beautiful wife, Val, who plays Phoenix. Uh, so stop by there and say hi if you're at Gen Con. Um, shout out to Zeno, Zach, GM Capricious Nature, Cyber Smiley, Raven, Andy Stretton, Copious Salt, Derek Lawrence, Daniel Terry, Alex Maxwell, Nicholas King, Tracy Goodwin, a.k.a. Stink Palm. So thank you so much. You all are the fuel on my fire, keeping this brand going and moving forward. Um, it's absolute encouragement, so I love all of you and really appreciate it. Um, shout out to Chat for being part of our story, uh, rewarding all those plus twos to uh, the team. Also, we didn't use that negative two, um, so if you want to save that, uh, looper uh, for the next session. I don't want to take that away. I think that was really cool uh, PWB given that in case there's any stat checks or uh, rep checks anything that, that a negative two could help um, So I'll let that carry over to next session um, Other than that, thank you to my players for being part of this uh, and just being awesome role players and making the story so much fun uh, Wherever the dice fall I have fun with this shit uh, because of the team. So thank you all for being part of it uh, And yeah, we'll see everybody next time. Take care Bye. 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 Fire Nation on the